You're listening to the Level Best Network. This is the Intercot Insider Live, episode number 106. The Intercot Insider Live is brought to you by Magical Journeys, Intercot's official travel agency and the Disney vacation experts, and also by the official ticket center. For tickets to your favorite Central Florida theme parks and attractions at discounted rates. And it's the holiday edition, the Christmas edition, the Festivus edition, the Kwanzaa edition. Happy Hanukkah. The Hanukkah edition. Happy Hanukkah. Did I miss any? Merry Christmas. Oh, that covers it all, I think. Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. There you go. So I believe the there are three other days in there, which I believe are the mystery days. That's... <laughs> Boxing Some day? mystery days? Yeah, that's from Bob and Doug's The Twelve Days of Christmas, <laughs> where their Boxing Day is in there, Box- right? Mm-hmm. Box- mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah, Boxing Day is in there. Okay. The day before Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Boxing Day, New Year's, New Year's Eve. That's five. And hmm. They come up with all log. these days. And not, not that I have a log. Not, not three mystery that. days as well. It's good to have you all here. Uh, we have quite a crew with us tonight. Ian in the upper left corner. <laughs> Way in it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Way <Hi. laughs> no, we don't need to In the blue that. trunks. <laughs> And, That's uh, all he's wearing, actually. He's just blue trunks. Yes. No, I don't have any pants on. Justin. <laughs> good. Oh, oh, goodness. Uh, Here we go. Hello, everybody. And That's like the news. Ian, thank you. Moving progressively <laughs> towards R rated. <laughs> I don't have any pants on. Didn't need to know that. <laughs> um, uh, Jason. It's weird. Hello. All the guys showed up on the top of my screen tonight. So. Hmm. It's organized in alphabetical order. Interesting. Uh, Jennifer. Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, we're excellent. Carolyn, the other hello, half of Canada. Hello, hello, And Cindy. Hello. And there she is. Wow. Yeah, we were just saying, this is quite a crew. We've got uh, a full house, a full Brady, right? Or no. <laughs> there there would be five. nine. Two more. One, two, three, two three, more four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we need two more. we got to get Michael and Gary on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I tried. I tried very hard. I just want to know who Alice is. Who's Alice? Well, not, Ian, you're in my middle, so I am not out. <laughs> Currently, <laughs> Carolyn's in my middle, middle so. I don't know. John's older than me. John's got to be Mike. I guess I have to be Greg. So do I have to? If I'm in the middle, you I gotta look up and look to the Rob. side. Really? Somebody? Really? Somebody needs to get a shot of that. That's pretty good. Well, we have Cindy as Cindy. <laughs> that, that's right. There you go. Good yeah, point. Can be Jan. Good point. Jan. Right, and Jan. There is my I contribution to the podcast. I am done. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Jen's the middle sister. That's right, totally Jen. me. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yeah, I'm the baby, so I'll be Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know I needed to load the Brady Bunch theme into the, uh, the yeah, sound everything effects. else in there. Deck, no, yeah. I got, I, got, I got a good theme. I got one here. You do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is- oh. Oh. Well, that, that's a pretty good one, although... Yeah. Quite frankly, <laughs> he always has to one up somebody. I yeah, know. really. I know. First seriously. Time. Well, I think uh, this is the best one ever, though. D- really? <laughs> <laughs> best is the opening theme. Yeah, I, I think, I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, nothing says Star Wars like uh, hearing that opening uh, uh, credits theme. Uh. But uh, speaking of the Star Wars, uh, we got we got some news um, on the Disney front. Not only, uh, of course, which we'll we'll get into uh, without spoilers. We'll we'll talk about uh, the new movie that is out, um, and uh, we've also got some news from the parks. At least that's what Jason tells me. I believe. Yes, quite possible. We do. <laughs> um, so two, two different things, uh, happened here recently, uh, over this weekend, um, there was a hard ticket event at Disney's Hollywood studios called star Wars galactic nights. Yes. Uh, which was kind of odd because it was only one night. So they should really probably just it should have been galactic yes. night. 
Yes. But then, but then it might have been like a person almost. You know, the Galactic That's Knight. That's true. That's true. I mean, there would be a K involved, but you know, <laughs> well. you can spell anymore anyways. Maybe they're just being hopeful that there'll be another knight someday. Perhaps. <laughs> so at at this possibly plural event. <laughs> um, they had a panel, and during that panel, they announced several more details for uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, uh, which will be coming, of course, to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Brought to you by Samsung. Brought to you by Samsung. Right. Um, first thing they announced, and we do have a picture of this on the boards, um, they had announced there would be a Millennium Falcon attraction, but they had been very clear on what all was involved in it. Uh, they have now stated the guests will actually climb through the hatch, walk through hallways, and then sit in the cockpit before powering up the Millennium Falcon and actually flying it. The ah. uh, picture they shared is a picture of one of these hallways you'll walk through. Uh, it's very detailed, as you would expect uh, from so. all Disney Imagineering. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've shown that sneak peek of that uh, hallway. Uh, nothing really further to necessarily spoil the right experience, but at least giving you an impression of uh, what the attraction may be like. Will there uh, be a nest on the uh, Millennium Falcon? Uh, don't You're jumping spoil. ahead. You're jumping, jumping ahead. ahead. Hey, so. do you think they'll I have like, that's a really little a smugglers, smugglers panel in the floor? Where oh, I'm, hide, I'm totally hiding in that panel. You know yeah. what? Yeah. But more importantly, is it Falcon that. or Falcon? Falcon. Millennium Falcon. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I've it's always said I Millennium like Falcon. Yeah, Falcon. I'd say Falcon. I've always yeah. said Falcon. In the movie, they pronounce it Falcon. So. Like okay, walking. but in the movie, Lando also calls <laughs> yeah, him like Han. Like, they never really agreed on how to say it. Oh, really? Do you know what's funny? Well, I noticed that last real night, real real because TNT yeah. was doing a marathon this weekend, and I right. kept poking in or out, and, I, and after correcting my daughter multiple times from saying... Han and not Han. He says Han. I'm like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only that one time. And they're supposed to be Lando. best friends. Yeah. You think he would know? Maybe he was you making Maybe. fun of, kind of like, you know. It's like potato, potato. I mean, well, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, if you know me, you don't call me Caroline. You don't call me Johnny. <laughs> I do. Is well, it Caribbean did. or Caribbean? It's in a song. Is it yeah, tomato right, or exactly. tomato? Caribbean. Is it potato, potato, tomato, tomato? We're going to call you Ian. Call the whole thing. Is it <laughs> just don't call caramel me or summer. caramel? Right, exactly. It just don't call me. <laughs> I'm just, you know. Falcon. It's got to be Falcon. Yeah. I, like Falcon. Christopher Walken. I say Millennium Falcon. 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 Well, what would you Falcon call the bird? It's the bird I call the uh, Falcon. I don't call a bird the Millennium Falcon. I call Falcon. <laughs> Falcon. Right. Well, then why? Well, what, why what do you call the Maltese? The supposed to be Maltese Falcon. Like a bird. <laughs> I just, I'm just curious. These are things, Let's you know. Talk that, about how we pronounce the word Falcon. things that we worry they, about. They keep me up at night. People are hanging up in droves right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, while you're sitting new. on the keyboard saying, you idiots, don't you know? It, it was it's it's this. Falcon, you, read the you dummies. Uh, Falcon. Come on. 1978. It's... Star Wars canon says that it's right. Falcon. It's Falcon? Yeah. There's, a... <laughs> There's a silent. I'm yeah. down in my basement and I'm typing this out immediately. You know, if Gary were here, he could settle this. Gary would settle. Does Gary anybody would besides settle me this. wonder how they're going to get throughput on this ride? Let's move back to the steering us oh, back. Well, ride. they showed a yes. picture of what the cockpit looks like, and it's not just a Han and Chewie seat. It's like there's right. a Han, a Chewie seat, and then there's like another couple bucket like, seats behind I, yeah. them and another couple bucket seats behind All them. All I want to know is do they have the holographic chessboard? Because that would be really cool. <laughs> yeah, I probably really would pass cool. by it. Play chess with uh, Chewbacca and have to tear my arm out of my socket if he loses. And maybe the what's the oh god I wish Gary was here. What's the <laughs> flying Lord. thingy and like with the blast yeah, the... shield down? I can't even see the thingy that I'm trying to hit. Well, with I my sword. To fight. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the thing I'm a jigger. Yeah, called. A little, Somebody uh, type that down. It's I'm right on it. I'm gonna type right now. I'm in the so, chat. So so how many? So does it looks like what? What do you think? How many people are going to ride in this? Uh, I think yeah, but I mean, like who wants and, to be and, the dude who has to sit in the yeah, back? Seat? Yeah, and I mean, you're going to you're like, going to have to be driven by somebody else. I would have guessed. I'm going to fly the Millennium Falcon. I'm not going to be the dude sitting in the back. Yeah. I would assume. Are we there yet? Through the through <laughs> Disney magic, there I have to go potty. Multiple uh, adventures happening. At Use the, the jar. 
<laughs> I, I get the feeling from stuff. <laughs> that's not that, apple that's juice. That's so crappy. I get the sense that it's going to kind of be like Mission Space, where it's like, oh my god, we need to push this thing. Yeah, navigator. Hey, uh, push right. This. Yeah, Come it could be. Yeah, push that. It could be. Okay, then. I mean, I, 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 I'm wondering if it's going to be kind of like a Simpsons ride, you know, kind of thing where, you know, like at, at Universal where you go in and there's about six people in each car or six or eight people. I'm assuming. And you go into your own little room and, you know, it's probably going to be a big circle thing with a whole bunch, you know, kind of like right. Yeah. space, right, That's, where there's tons yeah. of little yeah. millennium probably. Falcon cockpits around town. And well, do we think it's going to be like definitely going to walk in and go. Well, Joy. that's that's what I'm thinking. We're so, home. I mean, the Flight of Passage okay. is kind of the next evolution of the the Simpsons thing, right? I right. mean, who've, you know, or I which was not. them Back to the Future back when? And oh god, yeah, back well, to Jason, the... you usually Actually, go to picking up plans was... for yeah. um, for things. Did they have uh, plans filed? No, this one's been uh, kept pretty pretty secretive. Hmm. Oh, okay. I mean, they really didn't for, like Flight of Passage either. There wasn't much on that. Nope. Um, if they don't patent it, it doesn't really leak out. Um, and sometimes they can, um, you know, patent like a part of the ride system and not give too much away. So you can also hold things as not a, uh, trade secrets. Any kind mm. of novel. Right. Uh, yep. Right. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I guess. Mean, I, you know, I, I'm looking forward to it. It's, I mean, it's, not, cool. it's not. It's not supposed to be like a centrifuge thing no 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 i, like I was picturing more... like oh no we're going into hyperspace and you get thrown into your seat or anything like that yeah, it'll probably do the you know yeah, I, like I think it'd be like star tours you just kind of get bounced around right or whatever. Which is Maybe. essentially what That's i mean again you know the whole the whole simpsons ride do you, i mean i don't have you all been on that <laughs> and i, I just have. wrote it for the first time okay. last week yeah so i mean if, if it's you, the same ride that it was Six yeah. years ago, then it is, yes, it is. Okay. Pretty, yeah, so, but uh, I mean, that's what I wondered whether it was going to be a. You go into a room and you know you enter your, you know, go through your hallway and you get into your car and you're with maybe six or eight other people and then all of a sudden you're in front of this massive screen that then takes individual cars on some sort of a journey, you know, or right. your cockpit on a journey or something. I don't know. It, I mean, it'll be I, interesting to see. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. Yeah. Something. I mean, happen. they obviously there's got to be some for throughput. I mean, yeah, you, you got have to have right. thousands of people an hour. Well, right? so if you think right. about that round hallway, that's a when, from the movies. They'll just have like a door slide open. Now this is. Oh look, this is the actual cockpit. You go in there, and then the door shuts, and then more people come walking well, along, look, and they don't the realize that's the door. <laughs> Another, another door slides open. This is the real one. Come in. We need just you. Yeah. yeah. Five minutes later, only you can save us. <laughs> no, really, it's just you. Do you think maybe something will go wrong partway through? That <laughs> I'm gonna guess. It's At the some usual storyline. There will be an alarm that goes off. And, yes. Uh, you know, <laughs> exactly. Exactly like that. Oh no! We better make the jump to light speed. Yes. Ian said alarm. The navigator is down. <laughs> navigator. Fire we can't rockets make now. The because we're low on fuel. Send wings for landing. <laughs> That's it. I Just said we're low on fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what else uh, happened? So, they, other so, they, details, so they dropped some um, dropped a wall, didn't they? I mean, so like at least the you can see sort of archway. where the entrance is, the archway that's yeah. going to go yeah, in. Yeah, you can see the, uh, it's like a galaxy, train station yeah. or something that you'll pass through a tunnel into the land. Yep. Uh, then they also shared a picture of a fleet of at least four uh, X-Wing uh, starfighters yep. mm -hmm. uh, that they toted are really made out of metal. Um, <laughs> they did not, not specify where those will go, uh, but they will be part of the new land in some form. Uh, are we, then are they, we talking about Florida or California or both? Uh, this was specifically to Florida, but the thought is both uh, lands will be near clones of each other. Okay. Um, what about, uh, what about the ADATs? Yeah. 
Has anybody that's seen inside any... one of the buildings? They showed them being it's... built oh, that's inside right. yeah, before yeah. the walls yeah, they, both, they, they saw both. Uh, we got construction pictures of both at both parks in pretty much identical areas. I'm I'm not sure the layout is exactly the same. Like they might be mirror images of each other, but um, pretty much the same general layout. Um, then the other detail they gave is they gave the first detail on one of the themed shopping experiences. Uh, they said this would be you know totally immersive, including dining and shopping. Uh, so the first shop will be a stall in the, as it's pronounced, Batu marketplace. Uh, it'll be uh, the proprietor will be the Toydarian, which you will probably recognize from uh, Star Wars. Instead of Tydarian. <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> so all the toys will be straight out of the Star Wars galaxy, oh, no. um, and they'll be made to look like they were crafted by local artisans of the planet. Uh, the other thing they are stressing is you will not be able to find any of this merchandise outside of the land. Uh, hmm. So don't go looking for it at World of Disney. Uh, don't even look for it like elsewhere in Disney's Hollywood Studios. So they want to oh. stay. Uh, you know, to the story and exclusivity, and it'll only be available there. Actually, that and, that part okay. I kind of like. Uh, right. I, mean, yeah, I mean, because I, do too. I I used to like. We, we've talked about this a hundred times on the podcast. I used to like when you'd be able to have shops that had unique stuff, and you actually went to them because they had X, Y, or Z or whatever. I I like that uh, that that is returning then apparently. Yeah. But, and when they say immersive, that means that the people that work at the store might. Look like a like blue skinned alien or something. That. Like, yeah. So I mean, they'll they've said they'll have uh, sort of story specific costumes and scripts. Uh, so I mean, pretty pretty similar to what they did in the Wizarding World of of Harry Potter. Um, right. With with that idea where there's uh, maybe not unique characters, but at least it's going to be a little bit more. Uh, to the storyline than just, you know, an Adventureland cast member in a shop there. With a um, blue polo shirt on. Right. Disney yeah. parks on it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. so. Instead, it'll be, where'd you fly in from? Oh, I'm not familiar with that. Is that on the outpost? Of blah, blah, blah. Right. right. I'm yeah. going to say right. Korsk every time they ask me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just so, uh, Tatooine. So those were I the uh, Starship Enterprise. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? Oh, oh no! Here we go again. So those were the uh, kind of the main details from that panel. Um, hmm. The other Star Wars news at Walt Disney World. Yeah. Uh, um, a new Star Wars attraction opened. Uh, also, wait, what? Uh, on December sixteenth, um, Disney. Two days ago. Yep, Disney Springs opened its hard ticket uh, Star Wars attraction. Uh, so it's a 13 minute walkthrough attraction. Uh, it's also, uh, where's the name of it? It's called Star Wars Secrets uh, of the Empire. Thank you, Secrets of the Empire. Um, so it's a kind of mix of virtual reality and physical sets. Uh, so without any spoilers, uh, you do don a virtual reality uh, headset and backpack. Um, but then there are physical sets and props. Uh, some of the first guests that did it said, you know, if you see something within arm's reach, you can reach out and it is really there. Uh, so it's a little bit of like augmented reality almost where it is VR, but there are physical props timed to the same location. Hmm. Uh, there's smell effects. Uh, smell of vision. Uh, <laughs> there's ground. There's ground effects uh, and many other uh, sort of 4D effects, if you will, to make the uh, environment seem very real. Hmm. Uh, the storyline happens during the events of Rogue One. Um, so if you're familiar with that movie, uh, you're placed in the middle of one of the... Well, that's pretty <laughs> much... That's pretty the much end's about to go off. To oh, uh, there are some... Here we go. Go. On this ride, or attraction... Um, you do have to be uh, at least 10 years old. Uh, there's a height restriction of 48 inches, and you do have to be in uh, good enough mobility to wear the helmet, visor, backpack, and vest. And where, uh, where exactly is this? Uh, this went into the back of uh, Once Upon a Toy, so the side that faces um, kind of what was the parking lot area. I guess they've redone that a little bit, so the side facing out from Disney Springs. Uh, is now 
uh, this attraction. Uh, it's actually operated by a third party called The Void. Um, and it's, I think tickets are like twenty nine ninety five per person. And how long yeah. does it last? Uh, it's a thirteen minute walk through experience for thirty mm-hmm. bucks. Thirty yeah. bucks for thirteen minutes. Two bucks. Two over bucks two bucks a minute. Minutes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most guest reviews so far in the early days of operation have been pretty positive. Hmm. Um, that's because they the, the, admit that they got suckered out of right. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> oh, it was awesome. I loved it. Uh, yeah. um, but I think it is a little the, – the comments are generally like it's it's better than like a VR experience you can get at home. And it's not it's not like some of the other things parks have and the fact they do have the physical sets with it. I guess like you actually get a blaster and you can actually shoot uh, some of the pew, VR kits. Oh. It sort of sounds like laser tag, like you're wearing that backpack yeah. or yeah, something. There, you got a gun like – to it, Maybe so. it vibrates when you get shot. Pew. Yeah. Does Greedo shoot first? <laughs> do you do it by yourself, or do you go in with like other people and you can see um, them? They are in groups. They're in groups of four. Uh, so they did say if you're in a group smaller than four, you will be grouped with another party. Uh, if you're a group larger than four, you will be split up. Uh, so just to keep that in mind, if you're a group of eight, you can't all go through together. You'll go through uh, about Two. 15 minutes apart, is what they said. Hmm. So, so it takes 13 minutes to go through, but the groups go in 15 minute increments. Well, they got to get people out. They got to get a reset. Yeah. Set, set up. Set two, minute, set two minute buffers between experiences. So okay. The, t- the times are every 15 minutes you can buy the tickets for, and it's a 13 minute walkthrough experience. Okay. Sounds so. interesting. Not not a huge area, because uh, I mean, uh, once upon a toy is still there, um, but big enough that they can. Kind of do this walkthrough uh, area with it. Hmm. So Neat. I might try it. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think about that. But. So that's all the Star Wars in the parks. Star Wars. I might try it for just. I mean, I might try it for one time just to see what it's like. So Jake, then you can be the one stuff. that says, "I got suckered out of." <laughs> <laughs> well, you know me. If I don't like it, I, I definitely. Yeah, we'll hear. We'll hear. I'm. I'm anxious. I'm I anxious usually don't get to Disney Springs all that often, so you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'd, I'd go through, and then if it was good, I'd send my kids in. But if only four people every fifteen minutes, that doesn't seem like a lot of people a day get to go on, go through it. Do you have to make reservations well, 16 or Sixteen people you, an hour? Uh, it's actually, yeah. so I'm well, looking at it, and you do. They have a website, yeah. and you go on to buy your tickets, and it actually shows you the slots available so oh, like okay. i don't know if it's for today's date but when i pull it up right now it shows me there's a slot at 9 30 9 45 and 11 45 okay so that is probably for today since it's almost nine o'clock yeah yeah excellent right. so word is that there's a movie out or something too. there is yeah i don't know I haven't heard anything about it I, no. me neither it stars captain kirk I don't, I we will uh we promise we won't have any spoilers <laughs> Although you should have seen it by now, so if there are actually out there, <laughs> well, it's all your fault anyway. Is that the rule now? People only get one weekend to see a movie before they're allowed is to it? be spoiled? Is yes. that what it is? I don't know, I'm no. Especially this big movie. A big movie like this. I think, first of all, it's been more than a weekend now. It's been like four days, so... I, I have going seen in two days. Two so days. who's so who's uh, what are we, about 50-50 on who's seen it and who's yeah, has Justin it? Yeah, Justin Carolyn and I have seen it. Jason, did you see it? No. Okay. So, so yeah, I haven't Justin seen it. Yeah, Cindy's saw Cindy's it seen it. Oh, and Cindy saw it too. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, so four of us out of how many are there? Seven? Seven. Majority rules. Oh, majority. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Out of the four Here of us who've seen it, if 10 is like the best movie ever made and one is the worst movie, what would you give it? Me? What, what, give me an example of a 10. Because I can give you an Star example Wars. of a one. Raiders of the Lost Star Ark. Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. Okay, Lost so Wars. that's. Ten. And and uh, future, and, and a one and a one be... is Leonard Part Six. <laughs> Anything about Bill that Cosby uh, that says burn. And, and it's like awesome. so we can level up. What's a five? Ever. Somebody can throw out a five. Ed Wood. Where would Ed Wood fall? Oh, Ed Wood is an eleven. Ed Wood's like a eight. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're already adjusting five? the scale now. Like, we, we're like going to have good. problems. A five, to five, is like, a five is like you walk out of the theater and you're like, eh, yeah, pretty good. Oh, that was okay. I well, probably would have watched but, that but, on Netflix. You know, some movies with time can change. I'll, I'll give you an yeah, example. Like oh, so, yeah. so originally when I saw Robin Hood Men in Tights, I oh, like thought it was like a two. That's a two. That's okay, a, oh, an absolute that is, two. That is a ten. And now... 
I, I watched it within the last couple of years. Yeah, I don't good... understand why I didn't find it funny before, and yeah. it's it's way up there. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, you it's know not... what movie I was like that, that with speak, Austin Powers. The, ori- right? the original Austin, Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Are... <laughs> I hated that movie the first time I saw it. I was oh, like, this so is the funny. worst movie I've ever seen. But now that I've watched it like ten times, it, it gets laugh. better. Uh, I'm the same age. way. I'm like, how did I not like this the first yeah, time? Yeah, I, 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 I was just thinking. Preparations anyway, A through G. I would give it a nine point five <laughs> out of ten. I would like 9. to launch 7. the nine point seven five. I'm gonna be up there. I, I'm in a nine point five. Yeah. I never go full ten because there's always room for improvement. But nine point five, I would say. <laughs> Bo Derek little, would differ, little, but okay. Had a few little issues around the edges that, that prevented it from being a ten, but it was. I mean, it was, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. So, yeah, in, in comparison gonna... with, all right, well, well, then maybe we need to change. And Cindy, we'll get to you in a second. I'm not excluding you, by the way. Um, <laughs> all right. Just, so, let's the let's like uh, the episodes. What was it? What were the original ones? Four, five, and six. Well, Is yeah, that yeah? Four, so, compared to episode four, if episode yeah. four was a ten. Yeah. 9.5. What, I mean, this one's a 9.5 compared to I that? Ta- really? Okay, I, yeah. I'm i one of the weird ones that right. see most most nerds will say that Empire, Empire Strikes, Strikes Back, Back is the best of yeah. the best. Okay. Right. I, I just, still so, so. like the first, the, the A New Hope, the best. Yeah. Right. Me too. Well, so by, by I, would, far, actually, I would put... I would put Empire Strikes Back and this one at the yeah, same. The That's same. Same. so would I. Yeah. Really? I, I agree. Well, wow. if you go in by that, yeah. I would too because it was the same movie. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh my! Shot oh That's goodness! That's Hold okay. on. My number, my number is going to be a six. Really? Oh! Yeah, wow. Did you not so like? Okay, no. Okay. Did you I not didn't... like Empire Strikes Back? Oh no, I loved Empire Strikes Back. Wow! But no, you see, I'm I'm so wait, basing that. Okay, I'm basing it on a scale of one to ten. I think it's a six. It was a good movie. Visually right. entertaining. It was fantastic. Right. It was entertaining. Right. But all I kept saying to myself is, oh, this is from that. Oh, this is from As that. As they said in oh, Battlestar was... Galactica, all that has happened before will happen again. And... But right. you, liked, you liked Force Awakens, right? Yes. Which but I know the same thing. Is, right. is literally a direct copy from the original film. And I mean, I it's almost is a copy of screen. Empire and parts of Return, uh, Return okay. of the Jedi. I'm going to let Cindy talk, and then I'm going to yeah. blow yeah. your minds with what? Wait, but you go, Cindy. Oh, she's going to drop some knowledge. Go, Cindy, go. I'm going to drop it, but Cindy. Well, I want to hear Cindy because I know Cindy has some opinions on this one. I'm just wondering now what Carolyn wants. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I know, I teed it up. Yeah, wow. All right. Up. I don't have the sound I, effect for that. Unfortunately, I am with Justin. I would give it a 6 out of 10. <laughs> I think it is a decent movie. Um, and I'm trying to be very hard because I, I could explain a lot more if we wanted to spoil people. Right. Um, right. Don't do that because I – Yeah, we got to be okay. careful. And this is – and I said this to somebody on Facebook. And I think this is something very important for everybody to think about. When you watch a movie or when you read a book – there needs to be an emotional resonance with the story for it to really take you away. And if that works for you, if that emotional resonance works for you, you're not going to notice the flaws in the movie because it has tied into you in a way that transcends that. And you're going to go along for the ride. And it's I'm going like to give an you a really of It's an ugly picture of your kid. You still think it's cute, but everybody else think thinks, it's cute. Okay? What an ugly kid. And I'm going to give you an example for me. <laughs> Okay. Wow. There oh is my. an old dance movie. It's called Center Stage. It is a horrible movie. There are plot holes galore. The acting is questionable. The hmm. storyline is stupid. I love that movie, and if it comes on, I will watch it every time And because I don't care because the movie takes me along. Now, when I was younger, I didn't realize it was kind of as stupid as it was, but, you know, learn and you go on. But And I'm not saying Star Wars is a stupid movie because I don't think it's The Last Jedi was a stupid movie i think it's a movie that has a lot of issues but if you buy into what they're trying to do Mm -hmm. and go along with it you're not going to notice them or you're not they're not going to bother you or you're going to say well but so and so movie had this happen too and so and so movie they did something stupid in humor for me plotting wise it it did not need to be a two and a half hour movie and i know ian you said you didn't even notice the time go by to it it no, would have been a much either. better movie if it was an hour and 45 minutes, maybe. Absolutely. Any time that I am sitting in a movie 
and I pull out my phone to say, how long have I been in oh, here? Boy, I wonder how good. much longer this is going on. Yeah, that's not good. The pace is dragging for me. Yep. Or I can tell you my daughter got up to go use the restroom, and she said, tell me what happens while I'm gone. And she came back, and I said, you know what? Really nothing has gone on that moves the plot. You didn't miss anything that I need to tell you about. And you know what? It's a good time for me to go use the restroom. <laughs> if I don't care about getting up to, like, I'm not worried I'm going to miss something. Right. It's, it's, oh, that's funny. The pace is not working for me. It's Again, so funny because I had the exact. Somebody else, yeah. But I'm opposite I'm with experience. The I had okay. the key at like an hour into the film <laughs> and I was like, sitting in my chair and I'm like, I cannot Sweating. get up. I'm like, I can't leave. <laughs> and I'm just, See, and you know like, what? At first, Ian, minutes. I was kind of like that because I kept saying, okay, they're going to give me something really exciting. They're going to give me something really exciting. I can't leave. And then finally, after like an hour and a half, I'm like, they're not. I'm going to just go use the bathroom. Okay, there were <laughs> points in the movie when my son Owen and I looked at each other and we were like, oh, snap, look at that. Like, we were like, People in the theater, now I saw it like IMAX, 3D, huge screen. People were literally cheering throughout the movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, there was, no one made okay. a sound during that. Oh, my God. Say, like, during Force what? Awakens. Did you see the same movie I saw? During Force Awakens, when they showed the Millennium <laughs> Falcon, the place went nuts. When they showed every character, the place went nuts. Okay, so this, here's my... There was nothing. Here's my thing. The second movie in every trilogy... You could even take it to Indiana Jones, any trilogy. Back the, to the, the, the prequels of Star Wars, the original three, and now this three. The second movie is always a dark, dark yeah, always. like, oh my gosh, things have really gotten bad. Yeah. And, Which I expected. I and expected the first a... movie is like a new hope. And they're, what the Force Awakens, like it's yeah, it ends big, on the big and bright. Ends the, on the second big, one you know, is like, like, oh, dark, and what's going to happen? And then the third, and, one's and the then the third one is like, that's right. The resolution. Okay. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I wonder, I'm throwing this idea out there, but I wonder if people are like, oh, this is exactly like Empire Strikes Back because it's like, Hey, that's it's also um, dark and, it was and nowhere like, near as much like Empire Strikes Back. I also will say this. I don't think it was a dark movie. I don't think it had enough character I will also development. This, I don't think though. the stakes were oh, high my. enough. It wasn't dark I, to me. I, I, I was, was never worried. In Empire, there was the, will he, you know, will he go there or will he not? This one, it was just clear. It was like, no. I, I'm well, sorry. It, it, I, I don't right, think that's a spoiler. Careful. I don't think that's a spoiler. All right, because... all right. We're tiptoeing okay, up to just... the... And I, don't, I haven't seen it, I, but I feel like I I'm learning stuff. I appreciated the <laughs> tiebacks to that. Like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen Luke Skywalker on screen since I was a little kid. And so that that was a novelty factor for me. Like, oh my gosh, he's back. And kind of like the same thing when you first saw Han and Chewie come in and Chewie, we're home. And it's like, oh my God, it's really Han. He's back, right? right? I kind of felt that yeah. same way with like, oh my gosh, it's for real. It's Luke and he's back and look what he's doing. And isn't that cool? And like, so there was that. And then there was also, I liked the little callbacks to like, hey, remember you kind of saw something like this before in the original ones? I sort of liked that. Like, oh, they're making a little well, joke. Force Awakens was exactly the same movie. That's as right. Well. And I, I mean, like that. Literally, frame for frame, the same movie. I, and I, if you I, say, I like I'm not, Force Awakens. I'm not going to disagree with you then on Ian, but I will say, Justin and I think also have, we have different points on it. Justin, the the callback bothered him they they did not that is i have no complaints with that that doesn't really bother me i have lots of complaints with the character development which i cannot talk about because it right. would be yeah. Yeah. a spoiler yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um sorry. i will say i will there say there was a whole there's... subplot that sorry. did not need to be in there, there was a whole whatsoever. subplot that didn't need to be in there i think if you look at most of the main characters where they were at the beginning of the movie and where they are at the end of the movie, there is no character development. They did not; nope. they were not essentially changed by the course of the movie. Nope. And that's a huge problem for me. Mm. I have a and question. And how you had at the end of Force Awakens, you know, oh, well, who is, is, is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? Did we get any answers? <laughs> no, but you shouldn't have no, expected but then any you will answers. They're the not going to answer no, any I don't redemption. think you will because... No. You, that's well, you might, did. Justin, that's because J.J. Abrams is back for the last movie, and he might have to come back if there were things he wanted to tell and put him back in. I don't know. What is I, that? I, is that a stormtrooper? 
No, I think it's a Cylon. It's, it's a slurry. Cylon? No, it's a, no, it's a it's Cylon. A but Jen yeah. wants to say something, and she I, hasn't I have a it, question. So. Sorry, oh, hi, sorry hi, John, put a little <laughs> Cylon okay. up on the screen. But. So, don't answer if it's going to be a spoiler, but Princess Leia, is she a real person for all yeah. of it, or did they yeah, do a they, CG uh, version no, of they her? Didn't have to, they didn't have she, to draw her. She was alive for this movie, so she did she film. Was. So there weren't, like, she extra scenes that they had to fake her into? Her her. I mean, the only thing I'll <laughs> say about Carrie Fisher's role is I think people are being a little bit... Um, I'm, she wasn't bad in it, but her role was not very significant, and I think people want to feel that it was significant because of Carrie Fisher, and it was her last uh, uh, movie, and there's that emotional thing. I mean, I have friends who actually haven't gone to see the movie because they're so attached to Carrie Fisher, they're afraid to see her on screen devastated. it's going to be devastating. Oh, my them. gosh. I mean, on that part same with... note, did you hear that, that her dog Gary went to see, they took the dog Gary to go see the movie with her old assistant? And she said, and Gary was wearing like a little costume and everything. No. You know, her dog, oh my oh. God, the assistant was like, whenever <laughs> she was crying, the dog would like, would just be like looking around and he would hear her voice and like totally sit up and look at the screen. Oh, 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 oh Gary misses oh, his cute. mommy. There was also a part with in, in the Princess Leia, which I'm not going to spoil it, of course, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but okay, there was, just a, there was just a whole part that, why? It was stupid. That yeah, made I'm sorry. zero that sense. That I have to admit, I that was a little out on that one. Zero too. sense. Okay, so having not seen it, did they just put that in because they had shot it and no, no. might no, as well use it? No, it was the plan for the movie. From, they, from my understanding, they, they had already they filmed all of this anything. before she died. Hmm. So yeah. it, they were in, like way post production when she passed. So they I mean, they yeah. some reshoots for her. But they, but they could have cut it. But maybe they up. left it in. I don't know. Well, no, they had well, to leave it in yeah. for to continue the movie. But it just it, it, it's it, kind of weird. Right, but yeah. right there it was and there a little is weird. That was about maybe. Say you know what? If they really didn't like it, though, just. And they they could have they right. could have cut it and they could have done sure. new but scenes without that other people right in the, there. And yeah. the movie they was when I turned it. around and I said, "Uh oh, I think I'm gonna have an issue with this movie." Because up to that point, I was okay. Was the end. <laughs> no, that was no, that was about maybe an hour in. No, you track him with this. Yeah, movie. Yeah. If you're talking, we must not be Just talking checking. about the same scene then. Okay, that I'm, we'll discuss that after. We'll discuss I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat aware of kind of the major plot points without spoiling it too much for myself. But yeah. I thought you were talking about the the Mary Poppins sequence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah. <laughs> Where Mary Poppins flies in. <laughs> about an hour into the movie. No, that's at the end. It's the very end of the movie. No, it's the not chimney the sweeps. End? No. <laughs> no. It's, it's not at the very end. No, it's near the beginning, Ian. Yeah, yeah. it's like an hour into the it's movie. It's beginning to the middle. I mean, yeah. I, like I said, it's a two and a half hour movie where Which... you. And when does right. the rap battle happen? To All right, Ian, did you see the movie we saw? <laughs> yeah, wait, which sequence is that part of? Are you sure you didn't Hang see on. Olaf's Frozen Adventure? Hang on, you guys talk amongst adventure. yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type something. yeah Ian, can you please yeah, send him a message? All right, yeah, but it, That was... I must be confusing my Carolyn epic battle. Carolyn is typing. Part that I Don't had. you reveal <laughs> anything in the, in the <laughs> chat not, screen either. either. So <laughs> Facebook continue, Carolyn. Don't yeah, what's going on here? Oh, Facebook. Lost control of the show, Jason. I don't... I think it's a horrible movie. I just think no. it's, it's a movie that had issues, and you either buy into it or not. This is what I find really interesting for me, is there's been a lot of debate about it on the internet, which you can't read if you're trying not to spoil yourself. Right, exactly. it's all out there right. in it. But um, And I'm not saying this about you guys, Carolyn and Ian, because I think we've had some great conversations on this podcast. We, Ian and I have said some you know, on Messenger, and there have been some on Facebook. But I'm really surprised. I guess I shouldn't be because it's such a strong fandom, but I'm really surprised by how divisive the fight over this is. Like if people, the people who don't like this, people are like, you're old. You only care about nostalgia. <laughs> you don't understand. And Rotten Tomatoes is horrible. It's lying. People are making up fake reviews. <laughs> it's just, and you know, and then there are other people being well. If you liked it, Disney must be paying you. You are, do you, you must be one of their paid people posting on these sites. <laughs> it's just like bitter, really like bitter. I said I like the movie. I just I, I had much more high hopes for it. Maybe I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Maybe my expectations were too high, and. You know, like you guys After saying about how the Force Rogue Awakens. One, I don't know how you could have had high expectations. Well, I liked Rogue One. I'm sorry. I, I enjoyed was, Rogue One. 
crap. Okay, well, I liked it right to the point where everyone Justin, died. But you would know, you hey, rather watch I, that was one? the best part of the movie? Would yeah. I like to watch? Yeah. Would you Spoiler? rather watch Sorry. the Last Jedi or the one with Jar Jar Binks? Oh, you sound it. like a Jar Jar okay. Binks. Those oh, movies oh, are yeah. ones. I, we I'm talked kidding. about ones in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Of those movies are ones. Okay. I've never even seen the third one. Annie, what's the matter, Annie? The prequels had their own issues, obviously, but yeah, they they were, they were okay. Ooh. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna say they were okay because you know okay they set up stuff and whatnot. Even though how technology was so much better then, but anyway, <laughs> and you know, but and I took them for what they were worth because you know where the story was going. These, I, 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 like you said, you said Force Awakens was a shot for shot from uh, mm. New Hope. And, you know, I never really even thought of that, which I understand now thinking about it. Yes, okay, pretty much the same thing. This one, okay, if you take it at that, yes, it's the same thing. Okay, fine. I understand that moving forward. But the next movie can't be a line for line of Return of the Jedi because – we get Ewoks, we're going to be in trouble. Oh, if we get Ewoks. <laughs> yeah. uh, bring back the Korgs. Hey, I oh, never mind oh, the Ewoks. I think you should get a bad rap. rap. The Ewoks yeah, were, I love Ewoks. Well, I mean, let's hey, face it, they were only there to sell battles, food, right? I had yeah. an issue with the Porgs. What? Yeah, I mean, Do I don't you, know. I, I read something today. Do you know why there had to be Porgs? Do you know why there had to be Porgs? Yeah, because they Because on the because island. To sell animals. No, sell because animals. on the island where they were filming, there are really puffins, like puffin birds, that they couldn't shoo out of the scene, so they drew over them with these new characters, and then they're like, hey, that's a cute thing. Let's, like, leave them, and we'll make them, like... <laughs> Let's have a funny. bigger part. But it's funny, see, if like, true. Yeah. One mm -hmm. or two wow. scenes with them, okay. Ten or twelve scenes with them was a little too much for me. Oh, I Marketing. like them. I mean, gotta, I like to have a new it. marketable character. And Carolyn, yeah, I, I like how you change more characters. Uh, on, yeah. Uh, so you know, I, I have a question for that. Ian and Carolyn. Um, so. Just one question. I'm going to try to make this just. We're not going to talk because I don't want to make it spoiling. The opening scene with Hux. Okay, the opening scene with Hux when he's talking to somebody. Did I don't that even know work what a Hux you? is. What's oh, a Hux? He's a character. Okay. Yeah, that was that is was Hux a little... the orange-haired bad guy? Hux is yes. the orange-haared bad guy. Demon His opening Gleason? communication with the resistance. Did that work for you? It was a little cheesy. There a was... little cheesy? It was a lot <laughs> cheesy, but whatever. It was, wait, there, they wait, were... it was like a Saturday Night Live sketch. Yes, Ian, wait, a Hux bad is the that. guy that works I know who on... He is. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the, like he's a bad the, guy. He's the, what's his name's like kind of the guy, Sidekick. the guy that tries to pretend briefly that he's uh, in well, charge. I can't say that. And when he's talking he's to Poe, you're talking I about yeah, they were joking back and forth, and the jokes are kind of corny, but it, I don't know, I laugh. Oh yeah, you know what? Okay, I know what scene you're talking about. Yeah, I wasn't. But like, was that, that before uh, or after the Mary Poppins dancing? Before. That was before. 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 It was before. Like, okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe it was at that point that I movie. said, uh oh. <laughs> All right, forget it. We got it. We got to stop there. You just what, go I see the movie. You'll understand everything that we said. Go, then right. come back and re listen. And this is what I'm going to say, too. Go see the movie and judge it for yourself. You're, it, it really is one of those movies where there's not, well, there's not a huge lot of middle ground. You either really, really like it or you you really don't. And then we you need an awakening uh, really for somebody. <laughs> Not only the that, force, uh, but an that awakening. That kind of humor is is yeah, part of the in an awakening. I mean, it goes all the way back to the very beginning. They've always had corny humor. But was it really I, that uh, bad? I mean, okay, how about Han Solo in the Death Star? Like, I'm fine. How are you? I mean, it's the same idea. It's, it's yeah, all that, but, that kind of corny humor is part of the franchise. So that doesn't. Luke standing carpet. on the cliff when Ray hands him. And... Uh, 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 okay, no more. Too no, much. No, don't, don't. That's spoiled. That's too much. Spoiled. That's too much. <laughs> I'm flushing this discussion. <laughs> All right. No privacy at all around this place. Go see it and get vote for yourself. Pretty much from the people I know who have seen it, it is it's breaking right down the line like 50 right. 50. 50% 50 of the people are like, oh, it was awesome. And then 50% of the people. But nobody like, is saying it's trash. That's no, my point. Not saying it's no, trash. I wouldn't no. say it's. Not. Well, okay, some of the super fans on the internet are saying it's trash, but I wouldn't say it's trash. It is. A decent move to me. My it's a decent right. movie that's entertaining that has right. issues, and I don't think it was an appropriate use of the storyline. All, All right, right. somebody <clears throat> on the board. Somebody needs to start a poll for, oh, for whether you like it or don't. Well, you like can it. we uh, we just, can probably just do put that. A number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that. then it, people put their number. Put it in the podcast right. forum. Start yeah, a poll. 
That would be a good thing. And I have another thing to ask, but I can't ask because... Ask do it after. after. Ask <laughs> yeah, do, ask don't, don't do it after. <laughs> do, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Just message them privately. Yes. I, I, I'm actually going to send Carolyn, Cindy, yeah, and Ian it. a private message. Okay. I, I got to know this. because so now the rest of you can chat, and we're just going to keep talking Star Trek. Talk amongst <laughs> right. Right. That's, that's fine. Yeah, they in the private window. They'll Has be. Any, have any of you guys seen Coco? Yes. Yes. Cool, cool. I loved it. It made I did me too. ball. Yes, I was I really cry, too. but it, it yeah. definitely, it definitely, it got me. So yeah, it was that was, and I loved your thing about the pictures and everything. That was yeah, I I I, I do get that. We I do a lot of seen it yet, but I want to go this oh, weekend so to sweet. see it. It's good. It's, 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 a, it's not a it sad not. cry. It's like a happy. <laughs> oh, it's that like, wonderful. Oh. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of over Pixar. Like, I'd have no interest in seeing Coco at all. I'm trying to generate the interest. And I, I just Ian, can't get it. I I saw it. I know you and I think the same way with movies and TV shows. I was the same as you. Like, eh, my well, kids want to go see Pixar. this. Eh. And I went, and it was like, oh my gosh, that was really good. Well, Ian, have you try. heard about the Incredicoaster? <laughs> you... Oh my! <laughs> oh, nice segue! Wow! There you go! I wow. tried. Try wow! Goodness! That was very good. That was I have not, always managed. Actually. That was so smooth. I I don't know what happened. Go ahead. I'm yeah. very impressed. Well, don't ask me to talk about it. Santana I just, I was just the transition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my work so. here is done. <laughs> ah, Ian, have you heard about the Incredicoaster? No, I said I haven't heard, heard about this one. With no. the plethora of Pixar going on. Right. Yes. A Pixar Pier. So brought to you by part Pepsi. Of, yep. So part of Pixar Pier and at Disney California Adventure. Um, we'll be replacing California Screaming. Uh, so we knew it'd be We're called in Disneyland the now, kids. Yes, yeah. we've yes, we jumped switched coast, coast. Uh, through light speed. Right. Um, <laughs> light speed. Hyperspace? Hyperspace. Hyperspace. Mm. Um nice. So we knew it was going to be the Incredicoaster. No one really knew what that meant. They released some concept art showing a new loading station. Uh, what they revealed earlier this week um, is that there will be uh, a full-fledged storyline. Um, so you will. It's all about uh, baby Jack Jack uh, escaping from Edna, uh, who was doing apparently a poor job of babysitting. And then you're helping the Incredibles go chase down Jack Jack, who has run away. No, it's um, going to be the same coaster, I assume, right? Same, yes, sir. Well, yeah, same no. roller coaster. Right. But the tunnels, uh, which were not really tunnels because they were kind of open, uh, will now be fully enclosed. Actual tunnels. And there will be, um, I think you call them dark ride elements, but there will be uh, character features and storytelling devices inside those tunnels. So there will be scenes uh, yep. through each tunnel as you go through. I saw Mrs. Incredible, like with the yep. stretched out, like super yep. long in one uh, of the tunnels. So they did, did reveal one of the tunnels will feature a 40 foot long uh, Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> Uh, figurine. They're not really clear if it's going to actually be an animatronic or just uh, kind of like a uh, Peter, Plan, Peter Pan uh, esque, you know, sort of light up figure. Uh, You're going to be going uh, by so fast, I would doubt it's all right, animatronics. I'm, I'm but... thinking it's not going to really be anything full fledged. But yeah. uh, um, you know, they, I think they have some movement on the Matterhorn now, so there could be there could be yeah, some could be. some in the figurine. So it's possible. Uh, lighting yep. can also get some illusions. So. Uh, that's really the only attraction they have detailed at this point uh, for Pixar Pier. So more is expected as we get closer to that, because uh, that is all a spring 2018 opening, I believe. Which right. is really just overlays. That's why it's going to be quick. Right. Yep. Um, speaking of The Incredibles and Coco, there is a trailer for The Incredibles at the beginning of Coco, and the whole theme around the trailer is that little Jack Jack has discovered what his powers are. It's very funny. The trailer's quite funny, and so I wonder if that'll get tied into the ride too. Yeah, they they said the ride is um, going to tie into Incredibles two. Mm-hmm. And they said they actually got to work with uh, Brad Bird and the team uh, since Incredibles two was, I guess, in development when they were planning this ride. You know, so. which is, which is a little bit funny because if you think back, like if for Disney was putting out either a new movie or a sequel, do you think they'd build a ride around it? But no, here 
Incredibles 2 is coming out, but they're going to theme it around the ride coming out because they have such confidence that Pixar <coughs> is going to, you know, produce a another winner of a film. Well, did so. anyone else see that the Frozen special Olaf's? Yeah, it was? I saw it. I mean, it was really long. It, it was, was I mean, really it was okay, long. But it was really long. Like it could have no, been a half hour TV about. show that they play at Christmas time. Which aren't right. they doing it is, that? It now? is a half I hour mean, TV show. Yeah. <laughs> In my theater that I saw it at is known for you know only showing a few previews, and the only preview beforehand was for The Incredibles, and then it went right into the Olaf, and then right into Coco. But some people are saying you know twenty minutes worth of previews, twenty minutes for Olaf, and then into the movie. Mm. So yeah. that was you know a very long time. It's a 20 yeah, minute it, Olaf? Sure. It's a yeah, 20 minute it, it Olaf. Little, you know, that is a half Olaf an hour well. with commercials. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it was cute, but, you know, it was frozen. It, yeah. You, you could have cut a couple songs from the little 20 minute show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many songs can you squeeze into 20 minutes? You know, it was like, uh, oh, another song, another song, another yeah. song. I'm like, when is this going to end? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, they're not showing it anymore because it was. Too many complaints about it. Oh, really? Gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they took a, the theaters were complaining so they could actually add more showings of the movie, you know, to make uh, more money. Right. That makes sense. Well, there were reports of people getting confused, too, thinking they'd <laughs> like, gone to the wrong movie. My husband said that. He was like, <laughs> Welcome is the America. movie starting? America. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it'll come on. Not in the wrong movie, Myrtle? <laughs> no, no one was expecting a 20-minute short before, wow. uh, yeah, before the there's feature a, film. Like 10 minutes. Is like a short. Twenty minute is right. a featurette. Right. Pretty much. Yeah. So that's, that's why they were getting allegedly some people, some uh, moviegoers were getting confused and that's, that's... walking and out and checking the marquee and then complaining. <laughs> and in Epcot at the uh, at the uh, Mexican Pavilion, wow. they inside they have it all cocoed up and then they have a hole outside on the wall where you you know can take pictures. That's all the the scene, yeah. the altar or. Oh yeah, yeah. Not altar. What do you call it? Uh, memorial. Uh, uh, no yeah, altar is. Is it altar? Is, is yeah. that would be the word? I guess. Oh, an altar. Yeah. So uh... when Julie noticed, my daughter Juliana noticed um, in the movie, there's a little thing with somebody selling all these trinkets. She's like, that. That's like the stuff they sell in the Epcot Pavilion with like you know the little teeny tiny wooden hand painted little creatures. She's like, wow. That's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Some serious crap. Yeah, the, mo- the movie is if they sell it at the Epcot Mexico Pavilion, Pavilion and, Epcot. and it's in a movie, that's that's wow. it. Must be legit. True. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I could actually see them overlaying the Mexican ride to Coco, maybe eventually. Now, see but, that? You know, I, yeah, yeah, I was wondering yeah. the same thing. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, makes you sense. You could still have it be Donald of and stuff, but the that scene with the Day of the Dead. Right. Oh, oil, and speaking uh, just of uh, that, uh, at the Moonlight Magic at Epcot, just real quick, the line for the Three Caballeros was about two hours long. What? The wait, what? To have your picture with the Three Caballeros was oh. about an hour and a half to two hour picture. long. Okay. To picture, yes, not the ride. No, no. Oh, I thought oh. you meant the ride. Yeah, I thought oh, you my, meant no. the ride. Oh, my gosh. Like, it, was, it was ridiculous how long it was. We waited online for about 15 minutes, and I realized how long the line was. I was like, ah, oh, forget it. We're done. So um, that was mm. that was really bad. Mm. And then, oh. of course, Frozen was down and, you know, during the thing. So it took forever for that. Speaking of Moonlight Magic. Yes. Lots for, of new dates. Uh, yep. For DVC members who enjoyed that in 2017, it is coming back for 2018. Yeah, we managed to get to the one at the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and uh, Animal Kingdom this year. Um, so we're looking forward to maybe trying to get a few of them in for next year also. Uh, so the first ones for 2018 will kick off in uh, the winter at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, they are January 11th, 28th, and February 6th. And then they go to Animal Kingdom March 21st, April 7th, and May 16th. Which is weird because Animal Kingdom is usually in September. They've switched the dates all around. And then uh, Typhoon Lagoon is May 30th and June 11th. Epcot is July 16th and August 13th. Uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios is September 19th, 26th, and October 3rd. Which is the first time they're doing Hollywood Studios. They've never done that one before. And then they hop coasts, and November 15th is Disney California Adventure. 
And also a change uh, to this year is, uh, please note, in order to allow as many members as possible to enjoy Moonlight Magic, only one event date for each participating park will be available per membership. Mm. Whereas you used to be able to book all the nights, now you can only book one night for one of the park events. So that's uh, a change. Because, I mean, they, they have, I mean, the one at, for Epcot um, sold out really quick. Because first they open it up for people who have an existing hotel reservation. Then they open it up to the general DVC public two weeks later. And when it opened for the general DVC public, it was sold out within like an hour. When you say sold out, there's no actual cost. Right? No, I'm sorry. But, but they reached capacity. Just booked, yeah. yeah right, okay. they reached gotcha. capacity on allow the amount of people right. they're allowing in. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I know a lot of people wound up canceling. I know of people who canceled and – I don't know if they then opened those – allowed those spots to be opened up because you can't say, hey, put me on a waiting list. You got to just keep calling and try to hmm. get mm. – so. That's a good question. So, yeah, all those booking dates are on the boards. Uh, if you want to check those out, it does vary by event. Um, so there's different time periods to book each each event. Hmm. All righty. Moving on. Moving hey. on. Hall of Presidents apparently is reopened, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow, I think. Long yeah, time so, coming. It was like a year, right? A year, year long. Year. Yep. They did uh, say it's been a year long. They held off as long as they could. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Um, easy. Well, they they've they've done a lot more. So just beyond adding uh, yeah, the what's new going President on? Trump animatronic, uh, they've also updated the whole show. Um, so there's now a panoramic 180 degree screen. Okay. Um, there's new uh, projections, sounds, lighting, and other enhancements. Oh, okay. And then as they have done uh, since the early 1990s, uh, they have added a new animatronic of the current sitting president uh, with a speech uh, recorded by him. So it'll be interesting to see what, what people think if they do go see the show. Is um, I, I saw the picture. Of the current president. Yep. There's also there's also and video out there now is it, too. Is it me or did it, his face not, looks weird? Did, yeah. But you know what? Barack Obama's looked weird too. Like did it? I you know I didn't we always it, look mean, at the that, older but... presidents and think they look normal, but maybe if they're yeah. if you were super used yeah. to seeing Ulysses S. Grant, well, you'd think, oh, that doesn't I'm, look I'm, like I'm, him. I'm, I'm super or anything <laughs> like Ulysses. You know, I'm. So, I'm so used yeah, that's, to that's, that's very good point. Good point. Uh, so used to seeing like the Madame Tussaud stuff, and you yeah. know, it's like it, that's pretty dead on. Yeah. And then like I saw the picture today uh, as I was eating dinner at a Zaxby's. Oh, Zaxby's. <laughs> yes, <laughs> love the love the Zaxby's. Um, and I was like, hmm, yeah, I'm not really sure that. There's a few angles that. where if you look, it really looks like if they stuck a different wig on, it's Hillary Clinton's head. <laughs> are you I'm saying maybe they repurpose it? Maybe they just reuse it. They Controversy. People are joking like at, at Disney. Oh, we no. don't, you know, You've here at Disney. You know what they say here uh, at Epcot. We're, wow, we're that is a to bad reuse. likeness. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> seeing what I'm talking about, right? If it's like the three-quarter position, like not straight on, but not totally in profile, like <laughs> like like really? three-quarter, it really looks like Hillary Clinton, like I, the jowls and stuff. Wow. It, it really could be her be face. It's hilarious. Like, you know. No, yeah. I also noticed with um yeah. with the ending of the show. Think back to like the last I don't know how many versions. The the new president will say their speech, right? And then like a an extra curtain lifts up, and you see like the Capitol building in the background right. and the and Battle Hymn of the Republic. And like I mean, I'm Canadian, but me and my family really? sit there and sing <laughs> glory, 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 like we, yeah, we get like right into it. This. There is, there's no like big anthem at the end. It's just like a solemn like violin, and then like and then some <laughs> curtain comes down, and that's it. Like it's like it it ends with a whimper as opposed to a to a bang. America, yeah. heck good yeah, about this America. Is America. Well, I always feel like it should have like you know from uh, Team America at the end. America, you know. <laughs> America. Yeah. yeah. That should be yeah. like. Yeah. Heck and, yeah. You know, yeah. And that's the way it usually ends. And I mean, you get all pumped, like, yeah, best country in the world. Yeah, I know. It's kind of like. America. And, and the curtain's Golden coming down. Wings. And then you think, like, oh, that was it? Like, I, 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 I actually thought. 
Is that what it's called? American Experience? The American Experience, yeah. I actually yeah. Cr- I cried. I just got through that again. <laughs> American Adventure, not God. American Adventure. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, American... Did they used to have someone like fall through the Great roof like they were hanging birds. No. at one point? No. Oh. Didn't like a trap I... door open like when no. they were talking like a uh... – I when remember as a kid like no. – You're talking about American Adventure? Yes. No. Like no. someone uh, – like... The only one no. that comes down from the, ce- the ceiling is Rosie, Rosie the Riveter. The Riveter. Yeah. No, no, no. But like it was like it... – in the top of the theater, like when they were talking about like Nathan Hale or something like that, think no. like someone Above the audience. No. Yeah. No. I think you might no. be thinking, thinking about Muppet that. Vision 3D or something. Or, no, or, or I or just or, it's or, it's tough to be a bug. No, I just, I distinctly remember something like that. I don't know if it was that a whole of presidents. I don't know. That I remember... show's been the same since it opened. It's yeah. it, other than the changed. montage at the end that they changed. That yeah. Nothing has changed in that show. Okay, maybe I I'm just. I will say, watching the video of the new Hall of Presidents. Mm-hmm. I honestly thought that maybe the person who made the video took out the regular music and just put in like a generic violin. What like music to because, it, like for, yeah, copyright, for copyright reasons so it doesn't yeah, get taken down. It was so like this, this I've never even heard this song before and it's pretty it's kind of sad. So bit. go watch the video and see what you think of the mu- music at the end. Like I'm thinking, oh, they're gonna totally kick in now with Battle Hymn of the Republic and oh, oh the curtain's down. It's like I guess the show's over. All right. Hmm. Kind of was, huh. and well, the Capitol building, a, by the uh, way, gone. it's just a, like a movie screen behind yeah. them. Well, it was a soft open today, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So it is. It is possible it could change by the grand opening, but typically they don't. They don't change that much. Nope. Nope. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. It has a new narrator too, and the she narrator? sounds lovely. I'm not sure who it is. I keep trying to Google it, but uh, I can't. No, I'm sure the it's, I'm sure the folks there will tell you it's computer generated. <laughs> that's what they it's, told it's me a, with the it's last a woman's one. Yeah. Voice, like there's no right. more Morgan Freeman. That's Does a woman. Does it sound but... like Hillary Clinton? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It just Jen doesn't like say much, nice... but when she does, it... oh, she I've is good. It, you, you're she good. You. She sounds kind of like Oprah, but Oprah. it's not Oprah. No, it's it, it and the, it's that's what they'll say. They won't give you the name. That's what I'm saying. They wouldn't, an, it's they a wouldn't give me the last one, but I asked, oh, that voice sounds familiar. Who's that? No, it's computer generated. Like, it was Morgan Freeman. The last one was Morgan Freeman. Yeah, there was no doubt. He's Morgan not a... Freeman. <laughs> My friend, Andy. <laughs> what, what well, since you voice, mentioned uh, narrators, I just for like the it. first time saw the Candlelight Processional at Epcot. What? And uh, Yeah, first what? time ever. Yeah, but wait, never, has wait, Ian wait, wait, seen It's out. a Wonderful what? Life? You just never? saw it like two years ago. Don't him. I I'm allowed. I've, never seen it. I've seen it now. I've never seen it. I haven't seen it either, so don't feel bad. Uh, we had Kurt Russell and Snake Plissken. Oh, wow. Was Goldie was Hawn there? Oh, Didn't Plissken. see her, but no. he actually, I don't know if all the narrators do this, but he actually spent more time looking at the choir than and just taking it all in yeah. than basically it's, doing anything. He even said at the end of it, that. he was yeah. like, you know, you think you, it sounds great out there. You should hear it from up here. Right, and it was I, I, I really, I, I was actually like almost cheering how like good Can it was. Can you give me the just? A, yeah, I don't even know what it is. Synopsis. I always see it. People are going to the camp. I feel like he's telling the story the of going to Bethlehem and then interspersed so, yes. with with that's, songs and yeah, then like close. And that's, that's another that's exactly what it is. You got it. Yep. That's yep. basically what it is. Yeah. And how long is the whole show? Half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, about forty-five minutes, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it, right. it doesn't and and uh, where are also, they processionaling? Like we're they processional in. They procession they in, and they form oh, a giant out. Christmas tree. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and now, they're, all, I saw uh, it... they're all local, like school choirs yep. and stuff. They all come in, and, well, and Disney volunteers also. We, yeah. I actually saw it out in California uh, at Disneyland, um, yep. the processional, and not the actual show because if you don't get a seat at park opening, you don't get a seat. And you would have to, and you're nowhere near the stage. But coming down Main Street, the processional they was in? up. They, they start, I don't know where they start in the park. I think they actually start by It's a Small World at Disneyland. And they come all down Main Street. And there must have been a thousand of them holding candles and everything. That actually was, was oh, actually that, really cool. Hmm. So that was actually really I saw cool. that Chris Hemsworth but, was one of the. Um... Narrators yes. at Disneyland. Yes, Jen, I'm going to be on that <laughs> tour. Why wasn't I aware of that? Really I would have gone. There was no, also, in California. Uh, I know. There, no. I would have gone to gone. California for Christmas. <laughs> so would I, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, let me ask everyone on you. this. 
would you pay $125 plus tax mm -hmm. to have a hour and a half meet and greet with Kurt Russell, uh, limited to, I believe it was 60 people, uh, uh, 45 minutes of him discussing his career and 45 minutes basically a meet and greet with Kurt Russell. Uh, and then you get also seats for the candlelight processional. No. Probably not, but I would maybe not Kurt Russell. Sure. Uh, yeah, but, but I mean, for some, there might be a few Tom people, Hank. not many though. Well, all I saw was it was for Kurt Russell, and uh, supposedly they gave away um, like wine glasses during the event because mm -hmm. actually someone on one of the sites was getting rid of them. They, I don't know how you don't have room in your luggage to take something home like that, but you make room. Mm -hmm. But there was a whole. You know thing what? I will say, of, Justin, though I wouldn't, but I'm not surprised that people do. I mean, like if you go to conventions, like some of the the fan conventions for things like we we're talking about Star Wars, the Supernatural TV show, people pay. Yeah. Four hundred dollars to get hey, a listen, photo. Right. I paid yeah. eighty bucks, bucks to get autograph. One hundred and twenty-five to actually get to meet them though. doesn't sound as bad. If right, because my wife asked really me, she's like, "If you would have known, because we didn't know about it until we were already there." She's like, "If you would have known about this beforehand, would you have paid the money?" And I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 I don't think I might have. Kurt Russell. Who it was? It it depends depends well, for I me, I, for Kurt Russell, I definitely would. You know, some of the other people, like like Warwick Davis, was a narrator afterwards. I don't think so. Trace Atkins, I don't think I would, you know. I'd do it uh, for Chris Hemsworth and somebody yep. big like Tom Hanks or something. Yeah. I might pay to meet Tom Hanks. That he would certainly I would have to consider him. Yeah. Well, like, like I, I said, for, like, the thing that I saw was only maybe. for uh was only for Kurt Russell. It was, oh, you know, only he for was Kurt the, Russell? the only one that maybe, I uh, maybe I Kurt saw. Russell needs some cash and he's Because yeah. <laughs> I guess I you know I mean it's a cool idea though, you know. Because right. if you if it is bad. somebody you're really into how long did you say it was, Justin? It was uh an hour and a half. It was forty five minutes him discussing his life and career and forty five minutes. You know, that's actually pretty good because when and you pay extra for a concert and you get the meet and greet, it's literally you stand in a line, you walk up, smile with the whoever the famous person at the concert, and you walk out and you've paid yeah. about a hundred bucks extra for your And it was limited to sixty people. Yeah, no, oh, that's yeah. pretty reasonable to yeah, me. If I you're don't a think that's a bad fan, I would have done it. Yeah. No, okay. I, don't think I was just point. just curious what uh, what everyone thought of that. So I, I you know, I, I think I might have done it, you know, had I known. But I, I mean, me, I would have been an idiot. I would just talk in snake Pliskin the whole time. So <laughs> he, he would probably have wouldn't appreciate that. That also he, gets you would have talked wider. No, it would have been snake Pliskin and the hateful eight. <laughs> That's it. I would have talked to him about like overboard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> There so what go. was it like being Andy Goldie? What was it like building the mini golf courses in that movie with Gold Goldie? <laughs> no, I love Tombstone's like one of my wasn't favorite he, movies. Go look it up. Go look it up. I think in a different movie. Overboard. Wasn't he in Captain Ron or whatever? When, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what yeah. I would have asked him about. I'm sure he's he already into the galaxy. Trouble in Little China, right? Yep. Big Trouble in Little China? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's true. Guardians of the Galaxy. I forgot he was in that. Yeah, he <laughs> was just in that. Right. Yeah, they said that Walt Disney himself signed him to a contract when he was yeah, you know, when he, he was, was little uh, boy right. five or something like that or yeah, nine. Well, that's, oh, that's right. He was in all those original Disney movies. Little cowboys. Yeah, he was in a lot of those yeah. little Disney movies. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, God. sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. No segues. Nothing. Well, okay. speaking of uh, shows and oh, theaters. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. nice. Good. Good. Uh, you. Thank you, Jason. Just today, yeah. uh, Disney did confirm uh, the rumors that there will be a new Cirque du Soleil show at Disney Springs. Uh, they did not announce a uh, date or name, uh, but they did say it will be inspired by uh, Disney's Disney. rich history of animation. It will be filled with characters. So, so are we uh, talking like Lion King... Broadway type people on steroids jumping off stuff and I don't know. That's, that was, uh, that's what I read. Possible. What I read. The new show will draw steroids. its inspiration from Disney's heritage of animation. Yeah. Right. Nice. So you know, um, I love their their yeah. their uh, like taglines. Did you guys know that, that. Manuba opened in 1998? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's, it was almost years. it almost made it to 20 years. Wow, I mean, I, we saw it about maybe six, seven years ago, and pretty good I mean, run for a. It was a good show. show. Yeah. yeah, I never saw it, and I probably won't see the new one either. Mm. I might see the new one. I might. Yeah, I might. celebrate Disney's legacy of storytelling in a circus way. Eh, yeah, 
you might, Rabbit. You might, Rabbit. You might. You might. You might. <laughs> The what? tickets are so pricey. That's the yeah. only reason that I mean, we're when you're already down there, it's like you're what seventy nine dollars, like ninety nine dollars, something like that. Ten grand, I don't and know then your family of four or whatever, right. or, or Ian's four. family of thirty six. Yeah, I think we did it for an anniversary Three. one year. So, I just had no. Yeah. I'm not a show guy. Like I've seen like, a few just... in Vegas and stuff. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed. I've seen them. the ones in Vegas. I saw like the Blue Man Group, but they're not. Really, it's not like what I. I hey, mean, isn't I'm, someone's friend? I'm not like a yeah, circus. Yeah, yeah. What? Jen and I are Facebook friend. Facebook what? friend. He he it's went to high school. The guy we went to us. high school with. He's a blue man. He's yeah. and yeah and then I so I was talking to him after the shooting in Las Vegas and I said to him like were you okay like is everything all right and he's like yeah you should have told me you were down here a month ago I would have taken you out for coffee and whatever. So next time I go I'm supposed to message him and we'll go out and I'll take a selfie and I'll send it to you John. There you go. I'm blue, a, a big fan of the blue man. Yeah, yeah me too. I've I never seen blue. that. Oh my God! They're so. You never that seen it? Really? Yeah, I think no, you would probably enjoy that. Yeah, I think so too. I just have go never go to next time it. you're down. Go to the one. It, it's still there at Universal. It's still there, right? Okay. Well, well, Cirque yeah, bought them there. recently. Yeah, They're, it's good. Oh, Cirque bought it them. It is a it is a Cirque super entertaining blue man group. Yeah. Oh wow! I mean, entertaining, it, it's really and it's fun, rocking too. Like okay. like music wise, I actually own a couple of their albums. I I, I enjoyed the music that much. Oh yeah, the music's fantastic. Yeah. It's the best part of the show. Yeah, and I saw them when they were touring because they actually went on a tour one summer and yeah. um, they had a, a number of different rock artists that provided the vocals from Dave Matthews to, to uh, uh, the guy, I'm trying to think, uh, Gavin... Some, what Gavin DeGraw? No, not. it's another guy. Oh, sorry, no. it's the only Gavin singer Gavin's. I know. Gavin Rossdale Gavin from... Rossdale. That's it, that's oh, there it. You go. There you go. So yeah, I mean he provided vocals. Know what on, yeah, so and uh, so it was it was like going to see a rock concert and they were playing and doing their thing. It's really good, Justin. Yeah, I would. Okay, yeah, I'll have highly to definitely recommend check that out. Either there yeah, or in Vegas. The Vegas show. I think amazing. they. I think they have a show in New York. I'm not. I sure. believe they do as well. I think yeah. probably they do. Show. Yep. Do it. Just watch a little YouTube clip, and yep. any song that comes up, you'll be like, "Wow, that was pretty cool sounding." Yep. No, I, I I know the jest, and I know I probably would enjoy it. I just haven't gone. Well, now you Screeching go. halt. Do we have a do we have a now you will. do we have an affiliate link we can put in the show notes yeah, to Blue right. Man tickets? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thanks for there. That. You go. Right. Uh, um. So yeah. that's. I'll, I'll bet you the me. official ticket center can get them for you. Probably. Probably. There you go. There you go. Throw click, the sponsor. Click through the link. So the that's um, not the only show changing. Um, <clears throat> also, not the only show ending on December 31st. Oh, so Lanuba no. ends at uh, the end of this year. And? Also ending this year inside of a park is Flights of Wonder. Oh. Uh, so they just announced here recently as part the of Caravan Animal stage? Kingdoms. Uh, the Caravan stage is staying. Mm. Um, right. But it's part of the 20th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom this spring. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be replaced with a new show. Uh, so Flights of Wonder will end December 31st. Let me, uh, let me just guess. Mm, Pixar? Pixar. Yeah. Oh, wow. mm, yeah. More, more characters. More right. Pixar. It's more, a plethora. We need, we need more Pixar. <laughs> a plethora of Pixar. What's uh, ironic is that Disney's movies are actually better now than the Pixar ones. I mean, there was a time when that wasn't the case. I always forget which is which. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. And it's starting to blur a little bit. I do. Um, up, up is one of our, you know, right. my favorite movies. You know, I actually really love that one. You know, except for but, the. I mean, they've had. I mean, Disney sadness in the first fifteen minutes where you're like oh, it's... almost. Well, so the reason Obama. why Justin is mentioning Up is that is the replacement oh, show. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you said that already. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be uh, it'll be themed to the wilderness explorers uh probably teaching you all about birds and you know they're caught all, uh, the call. The call call. wild um with a book isn't it um so it'll be russell and doug will uh teach huh. you all about birds in the new uh show when did uh, just out of curiosity and anyone that feels like googling this please do um when did up come out Oh. It's, 20, it's 2017. And the race is on. 2009, on, I think. 2007? Oh, sorry. I'm saying nine. Nine? Anyone? Nine sounds know. more likely than anyone. Uh, 2009. 2009. Bingo. Ding, 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 ding. Cindy <laughs> wins. Ten, so. Now the bird is Kevin. So is Kevin, Kevin yes. going to make an appearance? Uh, they did not announce that. Eight years uh, later, uh, we have could... an attraction themed after. Yeah. Here's, a, here's a little tidbit. Our elf on the shelf is named Kevin after that. Yeah. Bird. <laughs> is it? 
Yeah. Awesome. Well, hmm. during the uh, Moonlight Magic, sorry, back to uh, at the Animal Kingdom, yeah, they the actually heck? had what a just nice meeting. <laughs> they just had a nice meet and greet with uh, Doug, Russell, and Carl. So, oh, you know, cause Carl cool. is a rare character out. He's not usually out. And he came up in a, a scooter. It was actually pretty funny. <laughs> That's cute. He came rolling up in a scooter. That's cool. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Again, Chris, derailed. Where's the sound effect? Oh, uh, I'm well. I should just play. <laughs> what, 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 what sound effect was I supposed to play there? The screeching know. halt. The no. boom. Oh, well, just boom me. Stand by. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thanks. That Thanks. Fred Flintstone's. Beat? No, that's actually the Fred be. Flintstone car taking off. That is not a car oh, okay. getting to it's a, a halt. Skid. It's a skid. Well, speak, speaking of cars, uh, we did have another update on the minivan service. Oh. Uh, so that is being continued to roll out. Uh, one of the, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, one of the, uh, yeah. I don't want to say complaints, but maybe questions guests were having, um, especially DVC members. Um, they were only offering it at the DVC locations that were attached to another hotel. Um, so finally now at the end of November, uh, they did, uh, add the service to Disney's old key West. Um, so that's the first all DVC, uh, resort they've added that to. So I guess that still leaves like Saratoga Springs, not on it. Um, but, uh, soon to come along. It's still, John, it was too late for our trip in October. We yeah, could I know. Have, uh, yeah, seriously. Didn't they know we were going to be there? Yeah. Well, for Jason, I think I though. saw, I think I saw a minivan coming out of. Port Orleans, uh, one way I was just there at a French Quarter, because along that strip is, oh no, Oki, is Oki West along that? No, Oki yes. West is down Oki. that road. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. Saratoga Oki. then Oki West, but the road before that is just Port Orleans, correct? Well, the they can French still Quarter drop. And... They can still drop off. Yeah, and as long as you up there, you as long as you're staying at, of, at yeah. yeah one of the other. Okay, areas. yeah, because we were we'll leaving wherever uh, you want to go. We were leaving Riverside, and uh, when we drove by, I saw one coming out of Port Orleans, uh, French Quarter. So. So you could have gone uh, there for the, or a meal or something. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the resorts, I know we brought this up a while ago about the shampoo, conditioner, whatnot being on the walls mm -hmm. and whatnot. Right, right. Now, pump. that was how many months ago we discussed this. Now, a number. Since, then, since then, we have stayed at All Star Movies, All Star Music, Old Key West, and now Port Orleans Riverside. And they're still not in any of the rooms that we've seen. Yeah, so, maybe they got right. a that pile idea? of bottles to get rid of. <laughs> Maybe. Well, you know. I mean, they, when it happened, there was no announcement, so there was some speculation. It was just a like a pilot room or just something they were testing. Um, the guests that stayed in those rooms maybe eventually start getting surveys on it. Uh, we don't. There was no formal announcement. Uh, we uh, tried to report that at the time to make sure that was clear, but um, I don't know. Yeah, because I know we had brought it up and we discussed it, and you know, and I, I didn't like the idea personally, and I know I was, right. you know, whatever on that. But um, like I said, I've stayed at the different resorts, and you know, nothing since. It has seen that they have now gone to one set type of shampoo mm. and conditioner, that H two O stuff, rather than it was that in the, like the moderates and the deluxes, and then something else like the the combo in the all stars. It now seems like it's all that H two O stuff all around. Yep. Yeah, Which, I'm, sure you know, they, I'm sure they flexed their buying power and got a much better deal on. <laughs> yeah, because that was the stuff that was on the the cruise, and um, yeah, you know, I love that stuff. So you know, we have yeah, each two I love that good product. Yeah, well, you yeah. mentioned before it's good advertising for it as well because you can buy uh, larger sizes of that on Shop Disney and other retail locations. Yeah, a lot of the, so, a lot of the hotel stores have it too. Okay. Yeah. So go if you try Island it and like it, it right you can go over buy here. It. Yeah. Well, yeah, you exactly. just ask housekeeping yeah. to leave you a mm -hmm. few extra. Got it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mousekeeping. So, sorry. Mousekeeping. Yep. Mousekeeping. Sorry. Right. Speaking of hotels. What? Hotels? What? Hotels. Uh, hotels. Hotels. There were uh, more announcements about the reimagining of Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, Caribbean. So they announced Caribbean. <laughs> Caribbean. <laughs> Caribbean. Just say Caribbean. Falcon. <laughs> Falcon. Falcon. A, a Caribbean Falcon. Falcon or a Caribbean Falcon. Um, so one of the big rumors they did confirm um, when we were looking at some of the construction permits for the new Riviera DVC resort, it looked like it was cutting off the rest of the resort from the current customs house. Mm -hmm. uh, that is correct. They are closing the customs house. 
Hmm. Uh, and they are moving the yes. check-in area to what is currently now a, a center of town. Um, so the center center area there in um, uh, Old Port Royal, I think is it's, is what it's called. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, it so is. they're redoing the whole uh, middle of that. Uh, so it'll now be a check-in area, a new food court, and a new shopping area. Uh, which will move shutters outside to its own kind of standalone location is what they're showing in the concept art, which we right. have up on the bar yep. on the boards. Um, there will also be a new poolside bar. They're saying Banana Cabana. Um, I thought that was the name of the current one, but maybe not. Maybe that's just a very uh, common-sounding name. <laughs> Might be. Um, very tropical, and there will be the uh, – Calypso Trading Post uh, will be the new the new shopping area. Um, Sounds much like the old shopping area, but I don't know. Very, yeah, Probably. very very similar. It's yeah, it's going to be much larger. If you look at yep. what they are kind of uh, making land for, I think that whole area will become much larger in the middle. Um, and then, of course, connecting that resort now, um, there's been more details on the Skyway stations. All right. Skyliner. 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 Yep. Excuse me. Not to be confused uh, with Skyliner. Either the Skyway or the Viewliner, which no one knew what that was on the last podcast when I brought that up. Read your Disneyland history books. <laughs> Wait, us. who didn't know what the Viewliner was? No one I else don't. What is it? Me I when didn't. I, that up. It was, uh, I don't think I was on that one. It was one of the original uh, Disneyland attractions they had. It was the Railway of the Future. So it's kind of like a predecessor to the monorail, kind of. Yeah. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, Por favor manténganse manténganse de la de la it was, um, it's actually in a lot of pictures. Uh, people mistake it for the monorail, but it's actually the, the view liner. The view liner. Right. Uh, so the Skyliner, um, we've got the pictures up on the boards again. Uh, they revealed at least three out of the four stations what those will look like, and they're all pretty much themed to the surrounding area. The uh, International Gateway Station kind of has that same, uh, it's like a French Art Deco styling uh, that you have in that sort of International Gateway area. Uh, so they showed that. It's kind of off to the left as you're approaching it, coming from the Crescent Link Hotels. Um, I guess so that's where the tram kind of- station used to be. Kind of oh, behind right now it's uh, trees, UK, isn't it? Yeah, um, so heading back towards the UK. Yep. Right. Okay. Uh, there's nothing there currently. I guess it used to be a tram station before they built, um, kind of built up that resort area there. Um, the Caribbean. That's weird because the runs go right through there usually. Yeah. yeah. The uh, yeah. Caribbean yeah. beach location uh, will be the main hub. Um, so it'll be the largest of the stations, and it'll look just like some of the Caribbean uh, villages. Um, they said that area will uh, explicitly have a waterfront uh, sort of viewing area where you can just sit and watch the uh, waterfront. Hmm. Um, the studio's uh, location, which I think is kind of off to the right of the main entrance uh, today, uh, kind of has the same sort of... Uh, Towards the boat? Uh, yes, that's what I believe that's what it looked like from the permits. Um, has that sort of, I think it's like the Pacific Amphitheater uh, styling, uh, same, yep. same styling on the um, entryway as you walk in. Um, and then they did not show any concept art, art of it, which uh, I think some people found a little suspicious as to almost saying it's maybe not designed yet. Um, there will be a single location for uh, Art of Animation and Pop Century. Hmm. Uh, it will be located on Hourglass Lake. Uh, we posted the potential permit for that a few months back. Um, and all they're saying is it will uh, uh, feel whimsical and contextual with both both resorts. So interpret that however you may. Uh-huh. Um the one interesting point that's being brought up by this is because uh, these elevated uh, skyways or skyliner paths, if you will, uh, will be uh, coming in so proximity to some of the parks. Uh, they're kind of saying, you know, you'll get unique uh, bird's eye views that you normally couldn't get before, which, of course, is also raising questions. Okay, are you going to see in the backstage areas right. uh, where there's going to be no show? 
Um, are you again going to see things that you know Imagineers had crafted for years to get a certain perspective or view on? Um, or think of that in reverse. You're going to see that from when you're, you're in Adventureland or something. Are, Not right. there, but mm -hmm. like, you know. Because they, they specifically mention you'll come very close to like the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. So are you going to have these things like going by in the background now? <laughs> in um, the 40s Hollywood. Yeah, yeah you would kind of hope they can, um, you know, block it and make sure they did all their viewpoints right. But um I don't know. We'll see. You can see Rapunzel's Tower from Liberty Square now. So True. you have a lot of hope, yeah, but you never bad. know. Trees trees do grow over time. So. I'm All right. still not on board with the whole idea. I don't know. I guess I don't like change. I'm kind of with you, Jen. I feel like it's going to kind of be weird. Like you're like, going to be driving along and there's just like all this stuff. Yeah. Know, just yeah. Kind of and like what about if there's like a big storm and lightning are they still going to be running or yeah, there's oh, suddenly lightning. we need 100 buses that's there's not never exactly lightning in florida common yeah. in florida right hurricanes no we lost the that never that happens never happens here ever <laughs> never um they this is a so this is not a disney system uh this is one they have purchased uh it's a we posted the name of the company a while back i think mean, it's a german company um so they, they have these in other big cities so yeah, i would das imagine skyliner yeah, yeah. Sure. Must das skyliner clink i must be um, in brussels in the morning yes <laughs> You can have an Oktoberfest <laughs> while you ride the, the Skyliner. Okay. Now that we've alienated every German. Uh... Every single German stereo <laughs> Yeah. Well, not everyone. Well, yeah, uh, that's a good point. <laughs> this is steered away from Just okay. saying. That's good. Good point. Uh, Got a little so German in me, so one would, no offense. One would think, though, being in a large city installation, they do have the issues of you know high winds and thunderstorms. And those sure. It's already worked out. Um, but... I think Central Florida is the lightning capital of this at least the U.S. So uh, there may have been some new considerations they had to like, consider for that. What if you are trapped in a Skyliner right. filled with a bunch of people that have just been at the Wine and Dine Festival? <laughs> yeah, right. Cause Here we go. <laughs> Here it's coming. And, they start and they're like, everybody, it. let's swing it. Yeah. yeah. Like, and why are all these people wearing Intercot shirts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. Um, I think it's going to be very fast. Uh, is the other thing they're saying because they're they're actually pointing out the system only slows down once when it does a turn around uh, one of the major roads, um, and you get a look at the mechanical inner workings of the ride system. Um, this to me kind of sounded a little odd. Uh, yeah, along Buena Vista Boulevard, where guests can see the mechanical and aerial components that make up the Disney Skyliner. So you could cover time. that section up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so it's it's where you do the turn station. So there's a big wow. turn it has to make. So it slows right. down for that. Does but it I think slow down to let people on, or do you got to run and jump? <laughs> yeah, you got you to just Get in. <laughs> run alongside and jump in. Well, and the old, out, the old in. Skyway didn't yeah, it was the same. stop. It didn't you kind of have to just get on as it was, yeah, it was just like moving. a ski lift yeah, yeah. yeah. slowed no, down a little bit when it went into the station and then that's it and then it was off yeah one yeah. of the reasons cities i think use this though is in the transversing areas it can move quite quite quickly where are our hover cars there you go mm -hmm. that's i just want my hover car it's the future isn't it it is I, yeah, we, it's the future i think i think this was that was the podcast <laughs> Here it title is. That one might have got lost, I think, though. Yeah, we did have that. That was the one yeah. Yeah, where I complained about <laughs> why aren't there flying cars by now? There should have been. Oh, it's a whole rant. You all didn't get to hear horrible. it. because yeah. you know, That was a good one. We had to retape that episode. It was the best one ever. Dag nabbit. Well, that <laughs> and the one where we had Eisner on that just didn't. Yes. Didn't make that one. I, mean, he, he, I think that was before my time. So secrets. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he actually revealed the location of Walt's head, which was, you know, quite That's true. <laughs> the location may surprise you. It's, yeah, it plus the, the, the whole defrosting plan I thought was pretty impressive, was too. Fascinating. That's so, well, well known about five years. So, what else do we got? So, We're... Speaking of the future, the future? Uh, more future plans Wait, got revealed really? here. Okay. Yep. 
Thanks to Florida's uh, conspicuously high water table, uh, they have to file a lot more permits they were would anywhere else. Hmm. So uh, Central Florida uh, Water Department has a lot of uh, details, permits where new foundations are going. Hmm. Uh, um, so uh, they have now specified uh, exactly where the Tron light cycle run will go. Um, so it is pretty much where the concept art showed. Uh, so we'll be kind of going into the left of uh, Space Mountain. Okay. Um, you can actually kind of now see uh, we posted on the boards. Uh, looks like there might be a bridge or a pathway that guests uh, will have to walk across to connect. Um, across currently the train our, tracks, right? Probably either over or under the uh, the train tracks, more yep. likely over. Mm -hmm. um, it also shows a back pathway. I don't know if that will connect in with the pathway that goes by um, – the uh, speedway or if that might be a cast member access area. Uh, but we kind of tried to highlight all that in uh, blue on the board. So you could see the uh, foundation. You can basically see the footprint of the new attraction. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the, still 2021 for that. Uh, that one has not really been announced, but yes, um, th there was that question on the board. The answer is basically think about the 50th. Uh, right. The goal is to have all these things open for less when than a no year. No one remembers what Tron is. Right. Um, I think it'll be cool, though, even if nobody's oh, seen I, it. I, no doubt. It'll I, be cool. No, it's. I mean, it's definitely a cool attraction. And we've seen, if anyone who's gone online and seen the video or heard Michael's report of the ride, it, it's going to be a great attraction. It's just sad we have to wait five years or whatever it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's like almost yeah. comical when you really think about it. Like, I mean, seriously, what? How long does it take to build a roller coaster? It's like a year. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand their. I don't understand. And it's been built before. Yeah, so yeah this it's is not, not like new. new. Look up the plans. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't I, understand. It's 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 actually really frustrating. I mean, it's that's just progress for you. It's just so. Well, do you think that maybe they do this? progress for you. Do you think that maybe they do this so that? I don't know. A clean I can way tell of you why this, they but do. Like, you they're know not why blowing they do the whole load all at they're... once. They're... Oh, yeah. Jesus. They're... Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. oh, that was not. That was so oh. crazy. I would have chosen. <laughs> Goodness. Hey. Uh, oh. I know the rules what's, are what's different. The, I know they're going to get edited out. Somebody give. What's the expression? No, that's, that's kind of the expression. That's oh, kind yeah. of it. <laughs> well, it is. So, okay. So, they're not doing it all at once. They're trying to spread it out to make you come back. Oh, now I got to come back next year. And oh, I got to come back. No, that's exactly what it is. That's part of it. Well, but they kind of are in, I mean, there will be a lot of stuff opening 2019, 2020, 2021. Uh, we've talked previously that the uh, reason for taking so long in construction is probably their quarter by quarter, you know, expenditure. That's Ian's it. theory right there. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, uh, somebody else said that. That was not That me. was me. I okay. remember it, but really? I don't remember know. we've discussed yeah. how long it takes. They announced these cruise ships coming out in, you know, six years down the yeah. road. And Cru how long does it take to build a cruise a ship? Little, yeah, I could see little. that taking a little while longer to build. But... Yeah, I don't want to go on a ship that will sink the first time it's it goes out. Like but they months. announced in 20, <laughs> what was it, 2015 or 2016, um, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Right. I mean, that's five, six, and seven years down the line to build a cruise ship. I don't think it takes six years to build a cruise ship. I don't know. I don't know anything about the shipbuilding I don't know. business, I but I can tell you. I think the some of it is scheduling, too, yeah, though. Yeah, at least the they benefit on that is so I don't think they've um, designed the cruise ships yet. Uh, I think that includes well, design time. Mm. And I, I mean, guess but a, with this, ship, I think the shipyards are probably also busy too. Well, that too. Yeah. You have to. Have, there's only so many shipbuilders in the world that do probably that right. scale, and yeah. you have to fit like in. One. And... Correct. They yeah. always build it in uh, Germany. Yeah, the, you know, yeah. Right. Germany again. Germany Germans again. They're so busy with the skyliners and the ships. Yeah. When are they going to build? When are they going to build a theme park in Germany? I mean, they're building all their rides. Shouldn't they build a, you know, Disney Hamburg? But I mean, could happen. You never Disney know. Hamburg. You never yeah. know. But no, I, I think uh, uh, to Carolyn's point, I mean, it, it is. It's it's the we make sure we have something new every year. But it does make you wonder why they announce it so far in advance. Then, yeah, but, yeah I would just but, keep my mouth shut. But, okay. but I, yeah, think, I think some of that is anything. honestly. Is it I think because a lot of people have to save up for years and years and years and years to go to Disney. So then they're like, 
It might be so a little bit. Maybe a lot of warning. Maybe. Didn't they have the big mystique with the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland? That yeah, the building so, there. Some of that was Nobody knew what it was but, for years. Yeah. But, I mean, that, I think that, was that built they had more stopped his, construction of it for so long, I think. True, yeah. but that also built anticipation. Oh, what's going I mean, there? Even in the even in the older days when I think people just expected something new from Disney every vacation season, they weren't announcing things five years in advance. It I've, was just so expected. I have a theory. So I have a theory. It's, what's your theory? It's okay. universal. Mm, I think me. I think you've got pushing a competition them? that's been pushing the envelope for X number of years and releasing an attraction every year you, going out and having a new announcement. And now they feel like they've got to put stuff out there to combat that. And legitimately now, I think they're starting to catch up to the point where they're releasing things and they're going to have a stream of products. But I think for a while they were a little bit caught off guard. They, they went into kind of a... a Kind of yeah, a they, went, they definitely period. went to yeah. sleep for sure. Yeah. But don't you think, though, let me ask you a question, though. Yeah. Don't you think that should spur them if, in fact, that's their goal? Right. And Universal cranks out attractions in like 18 months. Yeah, I think they'd work yeah. quicker. Like, don't you yeah. think they would work faster if that's. Yeah. I, I feel like, and I may be wrong, I feel like they sort of poo poo Universal. Like, I, I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, they're scared of Universal. Yeah, but. I, I don't think they care. <laughs> I don't think they're scared, but I don't think they want Universal dominating the news is all. So they just they want their own stuff out there. Yeah, and I think that's what you're combating. You're you're combating it. The local news, but they're never going to dominate the national. Yeah, but I think that you're combating. They're combating it from a PR perspective, and I think that's a lot of what it is. Announcing something so far out. I I mean, mean, but but as far as Universal never dominating, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I, 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 you know, we, we'll see. Nope. Give it, I give mean, it five I, more years. Although Disney now owns Universal. most of their intellectual property, but can, can right, <laughs> which is you, what, I think from now on we should do what Disney doesn't own. Be yeah. shorter. Right. <laughs> Universal being the like, think about what Disney means. Literally, almost everybody born in the United States, you know, at, at some point in time. They're just it's, – it's a rite of passage. You have to take your kids to Disney. No, you do, I don't, right? I can't ever imagine Universal No, but you know what? It's supplanting it, that. And I, think, I just can't. Yeah, but I think Universal's done a good job of marketing in that it's like when you've outgrown Disney, yeah. we'll be here it's for not, you. So that, and, fits in, that fits in a very small period of time, right? Yeah, it's from, I don't it's know. Like, Does well, it? Until they're like – I told you, Ian. My, my parents no, but... who have been going for years are suddenly converts, and they really see the value in going over to Universal, and they think things are very well done. There's so a I... large group of people that are not what you call pixie dusters, and they're like, right. yeah, Disney is all – Little princesses and pretty right. things like that. It is a I've tough sell sometimes. That. Do you find I'm that? I'm a 30 year old person. Yeah. I don't want to go and hang out with cutesy little cartoon characters. I want to see those funny guys from The Simpsons or like Transformers and stuff like that. Do you ever kids. think that since no. Disney has bought a lot of the intellectual properties, that maybe at some point Disney might actually buy out Universal? Well, there's been, I mean, that's thrown around no. every once in a while, but I don't think at this point. I, I mean, like, I mean, the whole. Movie Can you just imagine just what that? Parks? It, everything. I mean, did. I don't I mean, think the they'd way, be allowed to. Well, what would stop them? Uh, the yeah. Sherman like, really? Antitrust Act? Yeah, but that's. that's <laughs> because, oh, come on. The last time that, the the throw, it don't off. throw history in there, Jason. <laughs> I mean that that's that thing. They just, blo- they just blocked. There. They just blocked AT and T from buying CNN. I think. If you bring up Halt Smoothly or Smooth, Halt Smoothly or what? Smoothly. Yeah. What if you was bring that, that up. Smooth, I'm, I'm going to hit Hartley, you. I think. Smooth Hartley. What is it? Smooth that would be impressive. What's if you could hit me Red across Scott? the internet. Jeez. Brown versus you know, the board. Saying, of well, that, okay, that but that would mean then that they own. Everything. ABC, ESPN, Marvel, Star Wars y stuff, Lucasfilm stuff. Yeah. Well, they own all. Uh, the what Fox else do they own? Movies. Pixar. Smoot Holly. Darn it. It's the Smoot Holly terror. And most Smoot recently, Holly. 20th Trying Century Fox. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, 20th Century Fox. I'm just saying that. I yeah. mean, that, but... I mean, they bought 
you know, the Star Wars stuff how many years ago for whatever ridiculous yeah. amount of money that was. Right. They bought for then a they bought, you know, Lucas, basically is, everything Lucas has. Is it inconceivable? Now, no. Now they buy 20th Century Fox. I, I mean, well, well, I, I have to I say, got, I was well, they were. Uh, they had to divest a lot of the television because they knew it would not go through with that. I was pretty, yeah, they spun that off into yeah. its own, yep. uh, into its own thing. I have to say, I was pretty surprised. I mean, that's a big acquisition. I mean, that's huge. Was it fifty nine billion? Yeah. Will billion we get a Pulp dollars? Fiction ride now? I was like fifty two point one. Be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, but when you, you read, want to know why there's sorry, did you, I disrupt your account? account for debt that they had to assume, Jason. It was over sixty million. Yeah, sorry, sixty billion. That's a lot. But it's all, it's all stock, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still value. I mean, oh, it's I know. I'm really just saying. surprising. Speaking of stock, did Disney stock go up? I was. Assuming. Yeah, I think it went up. I want this back at the beginning of the Star Wars movie. Yes. Yeah. Me too. And then there's a there's a pause. The Wars, there's a yeah. pause. Yeah. Bam. 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 I missed that so then, much. When do you start the Dark Side of the Moon? Oh yeah. Wow, right again. During... I did it again. No, oh Justin, I'm with you. You do it when it says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. That's when you start Wow. <laughs> oh. Red oh. Killer Jones over mute. here. Let's just mute his line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mute Justin. Let him talk and no one will notice. <laughs> All right, well, back to other things they're building in the Magic Kingdom. Really? Um, so there, yeah, okay. there, there were two other things building that plans uh, been revealed for. So the location of the Willis Theater inspired Broadway theater that still doesn't have a name. What um, you talking about, Willis? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. Mm. I had to. I had to. Um, it's actually being built behind Tomorrowland. Uh, so that was a little confusing. It's behind where the Galaxy Palace Theater used to be. So there's some. Behind um, there? Assumption that it might be sharing the old, uh, maybe their rehearsal space or dressing rooms it had, okay. um, but it'll still be accessible uh, by the Main Street bypass. Um, gotcha. So you'll kind of still walk up to it through that way. Uh, there's some of the concept art and permits have shown there will kind of be like a mini area around it, um, but that will be so the Main Street bypass is still expected to become a permanent uh, public area that will lead up to this theater. Um, that they're thinking maybe late 2019, early 2020 opening. So again, don't expect to see any shows on that uh, real soon. Mm. Yeah. They had the bypass um, open for the Christmas party, and it actually looked really nice. Yeah. Yes. It was, yeah, yeah, they did, it was they did a, really they've cool. done a really nice job back there with making it, you know, not be like backstage. Backstagey. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of other backstage areas, they're converting uh, over at France. Um, they oh, yeah. are expanding the whole pavilion, basically. Yep. So it's not just the Ratatouille ride. Um, there will also be kind of a land similar to what they did at Walt Disney Studios in Paris. Oh, really? um, the permit is a little unclear, but it looks like there will now be a pathway that starts um, kind of along the canal way. So sort of at the, I guess, the back of the pavilion, if you're walking towards um, International Gateway. So behind um, kind of some of the current attractions and restaurants, you'll walk behind it, uh, which kind of makes sense because some of the concept art showed you looking almost at the backside of the Eiffel Tower uh, that they have there in the pavilion. Is that like the backside of water? Yes, yeah, so sort you know, of. have the backside okay. of Eiffel. Sort of, but different. Um, so uh, you'll be back in there. There'll be the ride and some dining areas. Uh, but they're also using uh, what was going to be the, an expansion pad for another country uh, between the France and Morocco pavilions. Hmm. Uh, so this will be primarily back back in there where the ride uh, will go. So that you can also see the footprint of that and kind of the basic, basic pathway. But uh, that'll be interesting because the pavilion will now kind of have a – Front section and a back section to it, hmm. so it'll be uh, much much larger as far as walking space goes. When's the German Rhine River ride coming? <laughs> yeah. Is that twenty forty seven? When they take yeah. out the restaurant? Yeah, <laughs> as soon as there's a Pixar tie-in. Yeah, I'm guessing. I have to say, I was a little surprised at the lack of any con- visible construction at Epcot. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like they've started any of these projects yet. 
No, I I think they have started some work for the Guardians of the Galaxy Galaxy attraction. Yeah, I didn't get over to that side, oh, so that's you that's started the one area to that I demo see. parts of the Universe of Energy Pavilion. Um, hmm. But again, for that uh, unless they change drastically from the permits, the majority of the attraction will be in a brand new show building uh, being built pretty far behind yeah. the existing one. That's yeah, that was my only thought. Was I wondered me. if they weren't doing like lot prep behind the scenes or something? Yeah. You couldn't see it, but it was a. Uh... The uh, the rumor is it will be a launch coaster style attraction, uh, hence the reason go. for the building behind yep. it, yep. and it will be about three to four minutes long. Uh, but again, probably a very uh, long and thematic pre-show is expected, given the large front building they'll be using. Yep. Um, again, that's just all rumors at this point. It really has nice too they, much. Nice if they did something a la The Mummy at the Universal, where there's, oh, yeah. there's a yeah. poster that kind of uh, incorporates sort of a dark half, ride. Half, I do want to specify Universal yeah. in Florida. Um, yeah, yeah, I've done sorry. both Mummy attractions. Sorry. Sorry, the one yeah. in California is awful. I'm sorry. Really? Is it? Yeah, I haven't done it. It's it just Universal. not. Oh, yeah. I mean, comparing the two, the one in, in Florida is so much better. Yeah. The... Uh, uh, the new Harry Potter attraction is sort of from a ride yes, Ian. mechanism so, perspective. So, Ian, similar to that. yes, you were at Universal recently. I was, yes. Weren't was you? Enough to have our, our year-end our year sales conference was at Universal, and the one night they bought the park out for that's us. A good, well, part, they bought part of the park out for us. Yeah, that's cool. good, good deal. Uh, so what did you end up doing? It, it happened to include that the, the new Harry Potter ride, which I hadn't been on yet. Which the, one? When you say new Harry Potter, which one is that? Uh, the not which, the Gringotts, one, escape from, the first the, one, the Gringotts or the Forbidden Journey, the castle, the, the one where you castle go in and or the, the bank. bank and there's weird it's people. It's the bank. And then there's, a big the there's weird people. Yeah, the bank, the bank. So that's Gringotts. Escape from yeah, Gringotts. Gringotts. Thank yeah. you very much. I'm not a Harry Potter guy, so I don't know what any of this stuff is. It, right. Uh, there was a really cool big dragon that breathed fire on the roof, though, which was kind of cool. That was. Yeah, yeah that is. Uh, really cool. But yeah, that's got a similar ride mechanism. It's the first time I had ever been on it, and that was a that's a pretty good ride. It's um. It's like a, it. It, I, it was. It was funny. I, my kids were asking me what it was like, and the only thing I could think of to compare it to, which is a rotten comparison, but was the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, just in the wow. sense that it's like really? part scenic, okay, you know, part like more thrilling coaster. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, hopefully, it's longer than a minute. Then it's yeah, a, it's a pretty long ride. I mean, it it's is probably uh, two two and a half minutes. But it, but what's interesting about it is that it it incorporates some pretty. It, so if you think about it, it's almost a blend of uh, flights of what's the new. The passage. new uh, flights of passage. passage, and you know Seven Dwarfs Mine Train because you ride through uh, these show scenes with you know with these very uh, high resolution 3D sequences, and it was actually pretty cool. Like there's one part where you you come into this room, and I happen to be sort of in the front, and there, uh, there there's like a these tendrils of smoke sort of come out. Yeah. You know in 3D, but it's weird. It like looks like it's like I don't know. It was it looked very real. I actually like. You know how you see the little kids in like Mickey's Philhar Magic and they're trying to touch the stuff. <laughs> like I actually couldn't help myself. I reached out and tried to touch it. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm that guy." <laughs> it was like really good 3D effects. And there was a couple of little fun little uh like little surprises. You know, the the cool thing about it I think when you ride it the first time, much like the mummy if you've ever been on it, you know, you don't you kind of don't know what happens and there's a few times when you, know, you come rolling into this room and there's just no obvious like, what's going to happen? Like, yeah, how am I going to get out of here? You know, like this, is, this could go very badly. And there was there's a couple of little unique uh, that you know you know unique touches that I hadn't seen done before. So that was the first time, John. The last time I was at Universal was that time you and I were there. Yeah, it was at the fifteenth. Yeah, and uh, I only went to Universal. Oh. I only went to Universal Studios, so I was at Islands of Adventure this time. Yeah. No, oh. I'm I'm with you though. You're right. There are a couple uh, things. The opening of the ride is actually oh, yeah. surprising. What that's what the happens part. there? Yeah, You're like, hmm, yeah, okay, cool. wow, did that just happen? Leave. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, I got to get over to Universal. I haven't. Uh, the last time I was there was 2012. Uh, yeah, you got to go. I think. Yeah, it's, right around it's the time. same time so, I was there, Justin. It's time. Not, yeah, I was there for the when we were at the 15th, which was it's 2012. So well, the only time we were there at the 15th was just a catch a rising star night, you know. But we right. were there. Yeah. Uh, John like, a couple and I months prior first... to that, we were there like during the day. And we did both parks, and you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. but it was before the it was the one Harry Potter ride, the Forbidden Journey. 
and I wasn't able to ride it then. Yeah. But um, you know, I'm looking forward to being able to I'm, ride. I'm telling now. you, you need you, uh, uh, with that wife of yours. You guys go down there and you stay yeah. at one of the resorts stay, and do like and the, three days, just yeah. three days. Yeah, right. That's it. That'll be plenty. The, uh, I actually but stayed stay. in the Royal Pacific. Yeah. Yeah, we stayed uh, there. It's lovely. Yeah, yeah we thought about staying at the Cabana Bay, but found out that the Cabana Bay is they don't give you the no, front of the do line that. pass. No, nope. yeah, that's no. Not, Hard yeah. Rock, uh, the Portofino, Portofino, or the Royal Pacific. Royal Pacific. Pacific. Yeah. That's and the other isn't there a new one there also? That there is, but that you don't get That one also the... doesn't have all the extras. They, yeah. they oh, the Sapphire Falls. Fall. Yeah, that was right. where our convention was, was the Sapphire. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I wasn't, like, wowed by the hotel. I, I, I was sort of surprised. Like, I checked in on Facebook, and I got tons of people like, oh, I love it there. It's a great hotel. It's fabulous. I wasn't, like, blown away by it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a very nice – you know, the room was nice, although it had this weird – it's like I don't. This is the second hotel room I've been in that has this bizarre shower, where like <laughs> the half the door is you know there's no yep. door. Yeah. They put the door on the opposite end of the yeah. of the shower, so What's you gotta like reach in to turn on the shower. What's up with get, that? Get, right. I, I, really I, I, where was I recently? The same thing happened because they had the half shower door. You you come around the corner and you're like, well, how do I turn this on and get it to warm up? And you can't. There's no way to do it, and you do get soaked. Right, yeah, it's, what is with it's that? like a bad user experience. I right. don't know why anybody thought that was a good idea. Like if there was a push button, start the shower or something, yeah, like you outside. know, it would be and then, fine. And then but, the, 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 sha- the bathroom itself, it's the no, same. It's I had so the true. exact same room in, in one of it's the so places where I, where I was in Europe. Yep. And, and this the bathroom is – so they split the bathroom up into like the sink and like, you know, right. mirror area. And then the mm-hmm. actual bathroom. And the bathroom is so narrow. Like mm-hmm. the shower door opens – almost into the wall right like and and it opens away from the hook where you like hang the towel so there's a lot of stuff that was like just you're, a little irritating or, mm-hmm. this it's this not uh, well designed season business traveler talk is brought to you by yeah i mean ian, <laughs> I mean, ian I do to, like, both of us I, I have traveled have so gone, much this year yeah i know it had power outlets next to the bed which that is a plus well we just stayed at riverside uh and the bathroom was one of the smallest bathrooms i've ever seen yeah. The toilet was maybe four inches from the tub. Yeah, they're they're, yeah, they're, they're tiny. Too, yeah. They're tiny. I could not, which I mean, like which riverside were you in, Justin? Uh, were you in the um, mansions or in the no, Alligator Bayou? I guess it's Alligator called? Bayou. I haven't been in Alligator Bayou before. The mansions, their bathrooms are decent. Okay, that was have, the first have the rooms ever stayed been at redone, so. or are these still older? They redid something to the. The Alligator Bayou several years ago yeah, when they okay. converted them to yeah. the trundle bed or pull down bed, whatever yeah, they did. The mansions did have, haven't been redone in a, a long time. The last the room thing we they had did had there had was a, the um, royal sorry. rooms. The room we had was a king size bed with a the Murphy trundle, whatever you know, yeah. pull yep. down uh, in the the wall. So yep. uh, you yeah. know, cool, but obviously we didn't need it. No, but, but yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, it's cool if you have you know a family of thirty seven. <laughs> like yeah. like Ian does. Like Ian. Right. Yeah. Right. There you yeah. go. But anyway, I, I did it was a nice resort. It was a little bland. Like you know how the Disney resort I don't know, there's just something about it that just wasn't quite right. But it, it was fun. I had a good time. I mean, I also got on uh, Men in Black, which is like super fun. That's kinda Love like that ride. Yeah. That's kinda like Universal's, you know, uh Buzz Lightyear two point oh. Better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. yeah, much better. I mean, it's it's a much more sort of interactive. More immersive. I, um, I just want to comment though. That's a very weird attraction if you're like a group of three on it, and you're like you're the only people in the pre-show. Because if you're around their pre-show, I'll just say it's very interactive. So yeah, there's only yeah, like yeah, three yeah. of you in the room. It comes off. I don't want to say awkward, but a little forced. It, <laughs> I didn't have that. Did that when I was down there. Group, we were for like some reason three we hit people. That. Yeah, we hit that very early. It was me, my brother, and like some other woman were in there, and it was only the three of us. And it just came off because you know, they're trying to get a reaction out of the quote unquote crowd, and it's just the like future the future and you standing there, and we're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, you know I don't remember the pre-show at all. Yeah. At Universal, at all. before all the rides, you have to put your stuff in those lockers. Yeah, that's yes. true. Yeah. So them. you take your family, you go to Diagon Alley, and they all want wands. So you buy yeah. a wand, and it's you in a, get a wand. bag. You get to the locker. The blocks will not fit in the locker. 
You can only put them in a certain angle, and if you have two kids and they each have a one, there's no way you're getting both of those boxes so in the get locker. Two lockers. So I had to get multiple lockers, so oh, one yeah. for each wand, oh, then another one for my bag. It was crazy. And then you open the locker, and the box comes sliding out, so it's like booby trapped as soon as you open it. <laughs> so they thought it should That's have thought out of that experience. when they were yeah. designing the wand. <laughs> you need to make them like smaller. Yeah. That's bad. my complaint. But the, Intercot but the, Consulting. The Thank Harry you. Potter <laughs> land is so I'm sure it. themed. I mean, the theming there is just It's amazing, isn't it? Well, it did really you see is. There was some video of a lady walking into the area and basically falling to her knees because she was so pleased with the the castle and the snow and the conductor from the train had to come over and like basically like, lady, will you like get a hold of yourself? <laughs> she was just like I way miss, overboard. I missed that. Yeah, I, if I find it, I'll... Wow. I'll well, see, I, um, send it out. I will say, did you get to see in uh, any of the uh, holiday show? Do you were in the oh, other yeah, park? Yeah, so. they found new Christmas. No, I was uh, in, the other, park. in the Harry. Uh, we had. Uh, I mean, it was like our. It was like our thing, right? So there was like, yeah. I mean, yeah. we had little stuff, and yeah. there was a lot of free food. No, so. but there's. Uh, I will say, um, quoting uh, Nancy from Magical Journeys, who has seen the holiday shows at Universal, including the Cashel's show uh, at Hogwarts and things like that. And her quote was, Universal wins the holidays. So, oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's well, pretty, I mean, pretty I high think praise. Universal, I mean, I know they win Halloween. Right. I mean, you know, well, well, Halloween guess, Horror Nights are amazing. Yeah, I mean, they just Depending on what are. you're looking for, though. Yeah, I mean, if you get the bejesus scared out of you. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, so anyway, but it was fun. I mean, I had a good time. I love the th- I think the theming in Universal is really good. I mean, the Simpsons land is so section, yeah. really fun. Like, yeah, they've it's just, cranked I mean, it up I, there. It's fun. I, like, yeah. walked into Moe's Tavern, yeah. you know. <laughs> flaming like, well. It was, like, in the background, like. Yeah. Do you have a you flaming know? well? Yeah. It's, it's a flaming well. You I had a flaming well. And it's a flaming well. Drink I invented. It's the flaming well. I See, Carolyn, a... you need to go. She hasn't been to I Universal. Been there since... like sections are well 1990. Famous. Yeah, since it yeah. just opened there, we went on that King Kong ride. That was and the original was a, King Kong. Original. Not the new one. Mm. No, there like, was a like the Jaws ride. Right. And there was that's something awesome. where, like, exist. you're you're in a <laughs> subway and there's yeah. an earthquake and, and they're filling the bus. That was all gone. Closed. That was all gone. Yeah. All of those are gone. Yeah, they're gone. Twister too, I think. No, not when I was there. Is awesome. Twister gone? Gone. Yeah. Yes. God, there was so. some sort of catastrophe canyon. Oh, it's and Jimmy the Fallon now? And oh, okay. water all comes down. And... That what was, was that thing. show that you, it was it Atlantis or something like that? Yeah, Atlantis. That's That's still, that was a waste of time. Poseidon's oh, oh, Fury. There was, oh. there was um, you go the from Psycho one, House. To another room. And it was a show room. of some kind. I remember we were sitting in the don't. Yeah, I think no, it's the other. No, I, I was one. there. They been there originally. They had a lot of shows. When there was a psycho uh, house, and you sat on bleachers, and there was some kind of little hmm. show. Not sure. That it was you a funny Ghostbuster show. I mean, in '96. I don't know if that's still there, but so, Justin, I, your, so see, do, you got to go like back. I would Carol. get lost there like i don't know where i'm going i'm gonna be the total nerd it's tourist okay take one of us with you. the map and stop in the middle of the walkway I, I, yeah I don't know I mean. john you were saying something no i was just gonna say that to your point i think um yeah the, the poseidon's fury there there were definitely some unique elements to it yeah it, it left you kind of wanting more like it to be more it would have been cool if it was like a half it, walking half ride or something and right when it ended i was had like the bigfoot tunnel which i talked did about did anybody have besides episode, me but... feel like they had this idea they were like oh it would be really cool if we could make a tunnel out of water and it then, was the like, bigfoot they just, tunnel they just decided to build a ride around the car an attraction <laughs> around it they, that's they like need, that whole thing is a better it, it could be uh, look cool, okay, can then, i like, just it, say it, uh, if you update update some of the elements to it, like some of the projection screens with like 3D and things like that, maybe it could be kind of cool. Yeah. But but it's, it, needs, it needs a better script. The, the technology yeah, like when the is kind of when the yeah. door opened to the end of it, I was like, that's it. Yeah. I was yeah, just like, you went from one room to another room, and then well, the door been, opened. And there's like, been oh, some. Hey. Uh, you know, thinking that between that and the uh, the Sinbad area, like they could just clear all that out and just Sinbad the comedian. Make more... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's the seven oh, jokes. Of Sinbad. What's oh, going on at Universal that, that I just, haven't seen? They could just make it, you know, into the big Harry Potter world over there. Yeah. They just oh, they Isn't there some out. ride there? What's it called? Somebody said that there's like a like a 3D Christopher Walken. 
Oh yeah, that used to be. That was the. Oh, it's not there anymore. Disaster. Yeah, disaster. Disaster. I guess I won't ever see that. Which was very cool, actually. The three D technology was kind of cool. That was pretty neat. But all right, maybe I'll have to go in March. So, Definitely still speaking go. of replaced rides, but back at Walt Disney World, wow. um, the <laughs> wait, Great where? Movie where? Ride. There's wait, where yeah. are we talking? Oh, yeah, the Great Movie Ride. Uh, the Great Movie Ride, which I think we all know closed this past August. It had its it final wrap. It did. Oh. Um, and the replacement is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Uh, say that seven times fast. Um, so a few things have started to leak out about it. Uh, there's been some rumors or talking more about the ride itself pieced together based on some presentation they made. Um, but what is certain is, uh, based on internal operational schedules, uh, looks like it will be a spring 2019 opening. Hmm. Um, All right. now that's relatively quick. Yeah. For, well, you know, yeah, I mean, all they're doing Disney is purposes. Skinning the interior, right. So the exterior theater is still supposed to stay the same. Um, the most plausible details of the ride that have leaked out um, is that you will again enter a movie theater and you'll actually go through, walk through the screen. Uh, I guess similar to that uh, story time with Bell um, opening. So it will be something similar to that before you actually load load the Which ride. Which I just did that again, the story time with Bell. It was only the second time I've yeah. ever done it. Just did Perfect. that recently. That's what it's called. I still Tales with Enchanted Bell. Tales with Bell. That that mirror thing is just cool. Yeah. That is cool. It's I cool. Agree. Unfortunately what follows is Yeah. <laughs> it does kind of follow. That's an, it almost You got like, to be a knight. It's John. almost like Disney's version of Poseidon. It's like it's just great. Yeah, it's true. really cool and then you're like Ugh. Do you ever get the feeling that that ride was built around one cool Just effect? One yeah. cool idea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that at some, some point. Yeah. But, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so if you're going about mid-April to early May 2019, uh, there's a pretty good chance you will be one of the first guests on that on that ride. All right. So it looks like that'll be and the first be the, of the, my 2017 D23 Expo uh, announcements to open. Looks like it will be, will be that attraction. Excellent. Cool. Excellent. Do we? Do Excellent. Do, do we kill everything here? I, do, uh, I got a few more quick takes. I think. All right. Do, um, do the quick takes. Edison, before the Edison we get out will of here. finally be opening. Finally, uh, it's supposed it'll to be open during, on uh, New Year's what? Eve uh, yes. with a grand New Year's Eve gala. Yep. Um, so they reviewed a few more details of it. We got some pictures on the boards. Um, they gave a little bit more detail. I want to say about some of the uh, areas, there will be three bars, um, the right. boiler bar, um, I think it was the breaker bar, I have some circuit breakers, and then a catwalk bar. Uh, so only be three bars in the uh, place. Uh, they did also specify that after 10 p.m. it will become a 21 and up only club. Mm. Um, there will be aerialist entertainment, um, similar, I guess they have something similar at the Los uh, Angeles location. Mm. Um, they're still being a little vague about what when prohibition era cocktails are. Partial nudity. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I don't, that, that has not been No. Uh, We're not in Universal anymore. Um, they're, they gave a I couple kid, uh, kind of hard hat tours here recently while they're yeah. still some of the uh, construction. Maybe the most interesting comment was uh, there is a secret passage inside the Edison to uh, Enzo's yeah, tunnel bar. We talked bar. about that in the last step podcast, right? Yeah. So well, yeah. we talked about the tunnel bar, um, but there's now confirmation there is a secret passage to go down into it, hmm. and that the tunnel bar does connect uh uh, all three of the of the restaurants that are being built in that building. So uh, that'll kind of be a kind of unique uh, feature of that area. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, other restaurant news, the Ale and Compass restaurant opened at uh, the Yacht Club. Uh, that's replacing the Captain's Grill. Uh, so there's a whole new menu there uh, meant to uh, evoke uh, summer spent in Cape Cod. Uh, so it'll kind of be a New England, Boston um, menu. Uh, they've Will uh, they have chowder? I, I don't know if they have chowder or not, but they do have a clam bake. Uh, they have fried chicken and waffles. Is there a place to pack the car? Well, only in <laughs> Hockey, yeah. Near the chowder. Uh, um, 
the I don't know, one of the more interesting menu items I thought they had was for breakfast. It's bacon blueberry pancakes. Ooh. Bacon um, so we got a picture of that on the board. Bacon. So that's now there's like a um, ailing compass uh, complex there at the Yacht Club. It's the restaurant, the lounge, and the marketplace. Hmm. Uh, so all three of those carry kind of the same new brand. Uh, D Living at Disney Springs. If anyone was a if that was a no. favorite shop anyone? of yours at Disney no. Springs, no. unfortunately it has closed. No. No um, one. No. Been replaced no. by Ever After Jewelry Co. and Accessories. Uh, so it's now specializing in women's accessories and jewelry. Fascinating. Uh, the Abracadabra Bar has now added food at Disney's Boardwalk. I thought uh, it was the, the Abracadab Bar. Yeah, you, you are correct. Uh, the Abracadab uh, Bar. I'm just saying. Um, bar. <laughs> Actually, I like that place. Tricks? How are they going to serve food in that place? It was so tiny. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. But... Because that was one of the criticisms was there was no food. Um, so now they have basically an appetizer's menu. Pretty much any place you're drinking, I think they should have some sort of food. At least yep. a little something. Yeah, something. A cheese platter. Or there you go. Tapas. At the wave. Like yeah. Nachos. Nachos. Yeah. Nachos cheese. would be fine. I'd be okay with that. Um, but no cheese. <laughs> But no cheese. Yeah. That's not your cheese. Not and I think the last news item we had uh, was in the um, wallet pain department. Um, yeah. The cost of oh. refillable resort mugs has oh. now increased to eighteen ninety nine. Oh, Oof. wow! Sorry. Yeah, but you only got to buy two sodas for it to pay itself back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you only have to buy. Two <laughs> Where's sodas? my? Where's my rim shot? I don't. I don't have. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. Is that better? Did you guys see the magical express time? Four hours. Oh yeah. There. Oh, that yeah. you have to leave. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. Temper. Four yeah. hours. Yeah. Right. Rent temper. A car. Because of the new TSA procedures. That is insane. Yeah, we were just there, and uh, we were on. It seems the B side security seems to go a lot quicker than the can A I, side. Can I just say clear no. card? Well, yeah. I have pre. Just, so no, yeah, well, it, clear card's better than pre, in, yeah. in as far as that airport goes. Because well, I don't want yeah. to have clear. Oh, no, they do have clear in JFK mm-hmm. now because they didn't. Yeah, they for do. A while there. Mm-hmm. Um, clear but, up. Yeah, we're going to look into that. Well, we're going to look into As much as you travel in and out of Orlando, if there is one airport where it has proved invaluable, it is that airport. What what could the clear card get you that pre doesn't? I'm just telling you, pre, like there are so many people that are approved for pre, you're going through a line and you're dealing with that. And when you go through the clear card, there aren't as many people with it. And every time I've gone, I go right to the front of the line. They escort me all the way up to the front and they say, excuse me. And they kind of create, it's like a VIP experience, create a little niche and they allow me to go in. Yeah. But do you still have to do the normal security stuff? Um, you mean it's like for pre, like, like I don't take my shoes off. I don't take my laptops out of yeah, my you bag. Know, like I don't that, have to do anything. That stuff. part. Yeah, you still do. But quite frankly, getting put in the front of the line, I'm beating you to the, other side. I don't know. The if pre line pre. is really short. Yeah, I, mean, I, yeah, I, I really haven't had Orlando? an issue with pre at Orlando. Yeah, the line, the line, it hasn't been that out, bad. When yeah. I flew out on Wednesday, the, the regular line looked like the line right. for – No, 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 no. The, I, I'm with like you Pandora. on that. Pandora. Yeah. yeah. It was insane. Exactly. I walked, into pre, I walked into pre. There was like four people in line ahead of me. I zipped. Okay. I was through. Well, that's fire. better than I've seen it a lot of times. But yeah. I haven't had trouble with pre in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, I've had more trouble in New York than in Orlando with pre. Okay. How does pre work? Because when I flew home from Florida, Pre-check. I think it was in January, on my, I don't we'll have anything. I'm little Canadian here. On my boarding pass, it said I had pre. Yeah. Some people so they, they give it to some people, which just them drives me nuts. Yeah. I flew this like 20 times this year. Do you think I got it once? No. Wow. No. See, the reason Dawn and I got it is because she would get it and I wouldn't. 
then I would get it and she would. Yeah, that's so annoying. it made they no won't sense. Let you go if you were an adult. Right. Like, right. If I had it and Trish didn't, she couldn't come with me just because I had. Yeah, it. I, right. I didn't yeah. do it because right. it was like I could take the, me and the kids, but then my husband right. he wasn't right. able to. Yeah, so we wound up. Well, actually, what we're going to do is get global entry. There right? you go. Our that's thing comes right. up yeah. because I wish we would have known about that, but I'm we didn't. Yeah, not this I, year. I, I, I kind of messed up. I bought pre first, which was like eighty five. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's eighty five. I got global. Yeah. yeah, global entry is a hundred for five years. We're gonna wait for it's the edition of travel and... talk. Hey, yeah. you go. Hey, this is important I, information. I, it is. It is. Right right now, global entry work. Uh, global entry also works coming off cruises, which yes, I oh, does it? They yes. didn't advertise that, but yeah, they. they but they, it's only I, I think I my certain. Card, I had my card with me. Hmm. Global entry. Yeah. It's yeah, like a Fort Lauderdale had it at least. When I, I flew back, I gotta from... get that. When I flew back from Paris, I mean, yeah. I walked in the airport. Yeah, there, just, like, the line for immigration was like, you know, 50 billion people. I walk in, I stuck my passport in, I was out of the airport in like 30 seconds. I need it's that. Yep. I, I need wish that. it helped the other back into the U.S. Well, the, the, the biggest Europe. problem for for lowly old me now is being here in South Carolina. There's no, There's no place to go to be able to get that. So I actually, I'm thinking at some point I'm going to schedule a longer uh, kind of fly flyover thingy where I'm going into um, Charlotte and there's they have offices there. In the yeah, you're always airport. up in New York. You Why schedule. don't you just do it at JFK? Well, that's the other thing. Yeah, they, we're, we're actually doing it when I'm up in New York as well. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, you're going up to visit Andrew all the time. So, Well, it's graduating this year. but Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> that's insane. Okay. Well, good All night, right. everybody. So, so <laughs> actually, just one yeah. other thing uh, I had about DVC. Um, right. I just All saw right. something today that they adjusted the prices. We are now have three resorts that are going to be over two hundred dollars a point. Wow. The Grand California, Crazy. Grand Californian, Grand Floridian, and Poly. Holy it's yeah, every no. resort is going up. Ridiculous. Vero Beach. Bureau is I mean, going at some down. point in time, it's got to be cheaper to rent the points, right? I mean, it's only like 11 bucks a point to rent them. I mean, you could rent them 20 times before you, before you ended up. I mean, that's, you know. That's I can't imagine what, uh, uh, what's it going to be, Riviera? Uh, what yeah, that's going to be. the Riviera. Price. I mean, mm. where is it? What's Riviera? A little bit insane. Yeah. It's a little insane. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy everyone. Holidays. Enjoy your Merry time with Happy holidays. the meal. Yes, it was good getting together with the crew here, and uh, especially from all of us who work the website, us and all the moderators, everybody else. We do hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Festivus. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. Indeed. Happy everything for everybody. At least happy God. God. And a blessed New Year, as they say here in South Carolina. And Merry Christmas. Yep. Now I think I hope your your New Year is uh, full of happiness and uh, wealth and other stuff. Everything you want it to be. Lots of Disney. Time. Lots of Disney magic, including yeah, the the boards at intercot.com. So sure. Yeah. So tell a friend or. A hundred, as we say, about the podcast and the website, and uh, join us there. Anything else, guys? Nada. Yep. I'm sleepy. All right. Well, on that note, we are out of here. Bye now. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Glory, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> And at the end of The Last Jedi. <laughs> Wait, how about that part with Luke? Who would have figured that Lando would show up and marry that girl from the thing? <laughs>